Welcome back. We are doing all signs, areas, you Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your store, acknowledge, move on. Check your other placements and all that good stuff, yada, yada. I put out four piles for anybody who has not been here before just to kind of describe how I do the readings. So you'll see fire, air, water, and earth. And if I say reversal, we flip the card up and actually flip the entire card. So here you have the five of cups. I'm not going to shine it in your face, though. Five of Cups, disappointing results, something that's making you sad, trying to be, it's a little more on the passive side, feminine energy, but it's like, I, I feel let down, I feel like I'm separate, I feel like, you know, this can be of divorce, separation physically, but it's sadness, also possibly sad news, and kind of possibly self-blame, little regret, little remorse going on here, so when I say reverse, we actually flip the card over, all right, so today we're doing extremely shorties because, yes, the dad story for anybody else who has been here forever. The dad story. Okay, so we were in the emergency room because he was supposed to have a follow-up on his head injury and a urine sample because he was not acting himself. So to see if he has or had a UTI, urinary tract infection. And while he's waiting, he is slowly doing this uh, boil He's getting ticked. His ears start turning red. Now, all of a sudden, he's in almost uh, like having a heart attack. I'm watching the vitals, and as a nurse, I'm going, the kettle is about to go off. He was he got himself so worked up that he almost put himself into cardiac arrest, and his pacemaker did not help. And incidentally, they're getting a phone call from me because while this happened, I'm supposed to get a call. If it's daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. If there's something going on, the man's in the same. He could be having a heart attack in the next room. I'm really irritated, actually, that I had no phone calls. Even though I was with him, I don't care. So because of that, uh, yeah, we had seven people in there. I'm like, you're thinking you're, you know, kicking my ass out. You got another thing coming. So I'm in the back corner trying to stay out of the way. He did not his his top reading it was it was like 200 over 100 it was insane and he's just sitting there like you guys are annoying get the hell out of my face pull out this IV I've had it so they admitted him overnight and of course um I had to steal his shoes because he has left AMA which means against medical advice before more than once and I'm like if you're going to keep him that's great observation do a cardio echogram it's like an ultrasound on the heart see what's actually going on this is what uh, my father put himself into yesterday just not wanting to go. And I'm like, he's been acting differently since he has fallen. Everything was fine, except all of a sudden, I'm like, incidentally, while we're there, his heart goes, wee, let's have a fucking par party with Jose Cuervo. And he is just, oh my God. I'm like, I was expecting him to do cartwheels down the damn aisle to try to get out of there. I'm really, it's like, dad, you are not a human fucking cannonball. These people can take you. Okay. It's just really seriously. You are not going to get out of here. And now that we have uh signed consent, he is, yeah, this was hard. Declared incompetent. That was extremely difficult because just watching him. Um, so this is not like a fun story. I'm sorry guys, but signing him as incompetent. He didn't, it was 1979. Um, my mother in his mind had recently passed away. It's been two and a half years. Um, he could not tell you where he was, what time of day, who the president was. He barely remembered his birthday and a clock is absolutely confusing. Just looking at it, um, 10 to two, as an example, was actually, um, it was two, two, 10, 10 to three. I'm sorry, 10 minutes to three. Hey, I'm not doing much better now, am I? So he's just confused and I'm trying to finally, they're seeing it because Today, he ripped out his IV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ripped out his IV, refusing meds, and what else did he do? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for him to, you know, do, uh, like, the exorcist where his head starts spinning around and he spits out pea soup green and he's having a major conniption. So I think they're going to finally see my way of thinking when I say he needs a doggy downer, something to help him stay stable because I don't want his heart to be going up here and he's starting to have a heart attack. I'm seriously like, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, you get it now because you're taking care of him. And I have not called to talk to him. He's been calling me, me nonstop, but I know what will happen. I'll just get him revved up and I'm afraid of his ticker going off again like a time bomb. So yeah. That's that's the dad story right now. He is actually, they released him um, as far as cardiac. I do think that there is a problem with the pacemaker, like the leads going in could be loose or something like that, but it's a completely separate thing that actually can wait. I'm like, so you say, I'm not thrilled about this, but I will be talking to the uh, doctor or 
physician assistant soon. I'm waiting for a couple phone calls back. So he is stable, I guess is what I'm saying, you know, and putting on a, a show for you here, guys. So um, thank you for all the comments and, and likes on, on the post that I just let you guys know what was going on because yeah, he's, he's gone definitely very downhill in the last few weeks. Um, and the confusion's got a lot worse. So we might actually, I might allow somebody to come in here, um, with the home instead, I think it's called, where people come in, just try to spend time with him. If they can actually have it be a man, that'd be great. Talk fishing, that'd even be better yet. Hunting or nude chicks, all of those things are fun, fun. Maybe he'd mellow out a little bit and get used to that. I, You know, he's really, I'm thinking, man, I don't want to be that age. I don't, I want, I don't want to be that age and in this predicament that he's in because there's really, it's hard. You, you, you lost your spouse. You barely remember it. You don't, don't feel like you're at home instead of the house that he had lived in for 50 some, oh God, longer than that, X amount of years. And so he's really, um, I feel for him. I really do. It's hard, but I'm not putting him in a nursing home that everybody's suggesting. And I'm like, not doing it yet. I'm not abandoning ship yet. I ain't going to do it. All right. So that's just a, if you're wondering about what the dad's story is and why the picture with, you know, all of the, here we are again in the fucking emergency room. It's like a casual lunch date with us lately. All right. So we're going to timestamp here. Oh yeah. One other thing. A couple of people had, um, requests, um, for different things. And I am actually going to do that. We are going to incorporate just general life. Um, today we're just going to do quickies, uh, elemental quickies, but I, I did take into consideration some of what their requests are. Please bring on the requests. If you want something different, we can always try to figure something out. We'll flip the cards differently. All right. So Aries, Aries. All right. Elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. All right. One, two, and the final one. Okay. This seems like this person right now in their thoughts they're thinking about creating something it could be actually a new house because the empress can be giving birth to they're feeling pretty settled i will say that and with the seven of wands in this deck it's a little bit more peaceful it's not so i'm not tolerating and i'm not this is a little bit more like trying to trying to keep the high standards of, of what's being built so in a connection this actually can be a building house or building a, a something that like your dream house all right and as far as their action this is somebody that actually wants to try to keep up keep peace in the connection that's long term with the six of cups it's like i'm thinking about the past i'm thinking nostalgic but that can be memories with you how do you see this person ace of cups so there are feelings here and they're still exciting uh -huh. okay so if this is somebody new it's definitely like uh, an offering, reaching, making a foundation, something that could actually last a while. Singles, this would be like coming out of the blue, but the Knight of Wands actually can be a physical move as well. So if there are plans to be moving in, people are, uh, you know, all scattered trying to work on a new house or a new uh, apartment or whatever the hell the deal is. This is something that's long standing, and uh, whoever this person is here is definitely seeing that this is growing, and I would say that you're agreeing with the situation. It's very optimistic in the very least. If you haven't been talking to somebody, they are thinking about you, and they do feel about you with that 10 being there. They, they still see that there is solid ground between the two of you, and something can be done, even if they aren't talking to you. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Cups. Oh, we don't want to have two queens, though. Okay. Hum diddly dee. This person is thinking about you in a very Queen of Cups. You know, you're emotional. You're very intuitive. This is somebody that's doing a lot of thinking about where their feelings are. Um, they're kind of stuck. And I would say that this person needs to shit or get off the pot and make up their damn mind. Because it's two of wands reversed. This can be somebody that isn't happy with the first choice that they've made and they're possibly thinking about another person. I don't like this shit at all. Judgment reverse for their actions? Well, that really tells you that they keep fucking up. I don't know what to do, so I just keep fucking up. They're not using the right... It's like they're dwelling on the past. Roaming eye bullshit. What's a blockage? Five of Cups. One more. 
All right, three of wands and the five of cups. Again, just a reminder, we flippity flip. So you got the three of wands, five of cups, three of wands reversed. Frustration, delays, and just wanting to walk. Uh, I'm going to crawl into a hole and just fucking ignore the shit that's going on. But if you if you continue to do that, or if this person continues to do that, things end up going like nowhere. You end up isolated and feeling like I just don't belong in this connection with this person anymore. What's the likely outcome? Because I'm nosy. Temperance reversed. I mean, ugh, that that does look like this person, if you tried to talk any sense into them, it ain't going to go anywhere. Because temperance reversed is kind of like, I'm all about the bad judgment right now. Too bad. It's unfair. Tough shit. And, ooh, and look what you got. With a cut. Your energy, bottom of the deck and a cut. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Fuck this shit. I want the goddamn truth and I want to talk about this. It's almost like you're indignantly saying, enough of the crap. Enough of the crap. Make up your mind. It's like I'm demanding honesty with you, asshole. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Justice and the Ten of Cups. Why the five? All right. This person thinks they think that there's something that's going on between the two of you that's keeping you from, from talking. They might feel like you've really taken some hard blows on their confidence and they've got self-doubts or self-esteem issues. And they might just be making them miserable, period, sitting there thinking that you don't want to have anything to do with them. They're feeling like they want. Why the justice? Why justice? Five of Swords. All right. So this person here is like a lot of emotion, but not really uh, paying attention to the actual duties of the King of Pentacles when it's reversed. This is somebody that is lazy. It's like, I say one thing, I do another. I don't keep up with the Joneses next door. I don't care how everybody sees us. And this Five of Swords, it's almost like I just want to sit here and, you know, fucking duke it out. I'm not showing any interest. I got a headache. Fucking leave me alone. And uh -uh. what's a blockage? Ouch. Okay, this is somebody that wasted your time and they are now trying to kind of like leave you alone. They still have feelings towards you, but they don't want something long term. They just feel like if they um, tried to reach you that you would ignore them. This is somebody that could have already ghosted you or abandoned you, but they're, they're thinking it's the right thing to do is just walk away. I mean, with the seven of pentacles for a blockage that's a complete like why am I wasting my time on this anymore why am I even thinking about it it's like I don't they don't finish what the hell they start they procrastinate they don't continue with the journey and this is somebody that is having a hard time letting go of you but I don't you know there are feelings here your feelings you get the nine of swords oh boy having a hard time I am uh, really concerned about this person and their action and their ways and it's like and as tempting as it is to reach out because there are feelings here. This person and you are basically in the middle of, where'd he go? It was just, there, death. Because this person, Knight of Pentacles reversed, they give you the feeling that they just don't know what the hell they want. They cannot settle down. They need to settle their ass down. There are still feelings here. This person also could have put a third party in the mix. I hate to say that. Gemini energy here as well. But it's like, why should this person deserve... Any reprise, okay, so the likely outcome is uh, don't dwell on this shit because this is like a setback. Are you trying to uh, try to get closure with this person and they just go back to their toxic ways and, and yet you think don't think you can fix this person because it would make you happy because it's going to end up being that this person's never going to give you what you expect and they don't give you any solid ground at all. Like you got to friend zone their ass, you got to try to slowly move away they're not somebody that's ever going to be giving you this like they're fake they don't show any interest um they could be like outcast and, and they don't fit they just don't fit and they don't know how to fit they don't so this is not going to go your direction if you even tried to reach out to them you cannot turn a fuck up into a band-aid not gonna happen poof magic wand ain't there all right taurus virgo and capricorn Hello, Hermit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh boy, why the page of pentacles reversed? All right, this person basically is like, I'm really not interested in dating right now. I don't want to do nothing. Their action is, the, this would be somebody that they almost are kind of being like, I really don't want to even get involved. So why the Hermit? Why the Hermit? 
It does seem like you're trying to penetrate their walls in their man cave or girl cave and try to get their attention and they just feel like I don't want to do this. They also might have some uh, issues trying to invest in something long term and say, yeah, I know what you want and my choice right now is to just stay single. What's their damage? What's their damage? They're trying to avoid drama. And then you got the two of swords. It's like they've already made up their mind that they want nothing to do with any drama. They just figure that dating right now or trying to be in a long-term connection, they might have had something that was unfair to them or they feel like you're trying to emotionally blackmail them. Any Anything goes to get your way. So they're kind of like, you're just trying, they almost feel like you're trying to win them over by doing a little bit too much suck ass. And they just kind of been like, I, you know, I can see what you're doing. I, I see that you're coming at me in a way that you're real excited and everything's all woohoo. But I'm telling you, I just want to stay kind of by myself right now. And if that is some ex, they're going to leave you in limbo. They're not, they just want their, their freedom. They're just like, no, anybody that even talks to me, I don't, I'm not really even paying attention to it. They're not paying attention to it. All right, so we have Pisces Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, a little passion point, and then we started right out with an expression of birth of an idea. I like this. So Libra and, think, Taurus. Libra and Taurus, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck now. So basically, stand your ground with the King of Swords here. Know your information. Be kind of more disciplined. Don't just jump into anything. Don't be influenced easily by anybody. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. Now we go, ole, 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 Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, one more. One more. King of Wands reversed. Ooh, kind of interesting here. I gotta admit, why strength reversed? Come here. All right. This person's a little bit on the guarded side as far as they're they're kind of avoiding taking a risk. But what are they feeling? Why death? Ooh, is this death of a bachelor? Their actions. Ooh, it seems like somebody wants to make a change. This is somebody that's like, if I if I have to get Taurus's interest, I have to act more serious, and I know it. This is, I want to give up. They feel like it's it's time. It's time for a change. It's time for something different. They feel like they don't want to be alone anymore. What do we got? Your energy is going, I, enough. you got to change to be the right one for me. It's like, I appreciate all of the uh, affection and blah, 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 but the shit's got to change. With the tower here, you might have really kind of stepped on them and they had to do some thinking, kind of like, what do I really want? And it's like, if I want to get Taurus's attention, I got to stop acting like I'm footloose and fancy free. And let's get one for this likely outcome. All right, we got two. So... Knight of Swords, being taken seriously. And the Nine of Swords reversed is like finally being serious. I'm thinking about this. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm not such a... I mean, let's get some clarity. We're thing, I want things resolved. I don't want to have to feel anxious anymore or trying to be optimistic or getting answers so that the doubt is kind of pushed aside. We like that. We'll take it. We'll take that. Yes. We'll have that for 500, Chuck. Hell, I don't even know. I have the right game show. All right. One you what flew this way king of swords reversed five of swords Ooh, and the ten of pentacles again the feeling of this person possibly they're seeing the situation between the two of you is kind of like you're in control and you are trying to deceive them and they're they're not thinking logically or with any reason why because this, there can be a pregnancy. I will just say that. Okay, it looks like you're a little bit restless. Oh, and a phone call. And a momento. All right, I got the pass to go and get dad. Do I want to get him? I don't really know. I don't really know. Should I? Should I get him? Yes? Yeah, maybe should. But I'll finish you guys first. All right, feelings. Let's add to those feelings. Source. 
All right, this is person's a little bit apprehensive about trying to work things out. It does seem like they feel that you're kind of up to something. They feel like you're kind of scheming, that you're trying to, you know, it just does look, I mean, as far as their action, it does look like possibly coming back home, but they still feel like there's something that's got to change. They're very defensive. You know, you've got three de very defensive cards. It's like it's almost like they have something to say as far as how things are going to go if the two of you are together or about a commitment or about the living space or whatever because they just feel kind of out of sorts and, and, and like you're trying to get more out of them than they're willing to offer. So the blockage is they thank you. I'm sorry, but they thank you. It's almost like they're going, you're so, always so me moody. You need to you need to give it up. So they're pointing kind of fingers at you going, why, 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 why do you have to be so, they always want to kind of toss in the towel because they think you get emotionally moody and you get upset or there is also a possibility that there's an X here that they need to drop as well. So let's see what you think. Thinky, thinky. Yeah, you're like, things need to work better. Bottom of the deck. See, see, you would like to leave the bullshit in the past, and you feel like you're, you know, the two of you can try, but they have to be more open to the idea of it, and things could go better. This just seems like you want to break through with this person, and they're kind of going, you're, you're pushing it, and you're kind of like, yeah, but you got to be able to put the work into it and try to work with me. This just seems like a, uh, this person thinks you're way moody and they get aggressively trying to defend themselves and I know you want children or I know you want something long term and they need to chill the hell out. They need a doggy downer like my daddy. Oh, they need a doggy downer. All right, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person's feeling like things are kind of a waste of time right now. Why the waste of time? Why the giving up or not feeling like things are paying off? Ooh, but they are trying to hope for. So what's a blockage? Blockage. All right, one more. This is somebody that they're not sure what to expect. You got the hangman reversed and the seven of cups. So it's like things are kind of up in the air. There's lots of, it's like, I have no idea what to expect. And with the Knight of Cups, this can be this person's feeling kind of wishy-washy. The two of you could have been very on and off, or they might feel like you need to be a little bit more letting them have their space. It's like they let's have some space here between us. I still I still have there's feelings here. This is like I want to offer you my cup. Um, we've wasted enough time. I'm still hopeful, but with the hangman reverse, something's got to get dropped. So let's see what you think. You think he? How do you think he? Think he? How do you think he? Think he? All right, the world. Ooh, but look at he come. Look at he comes. All right, that's like starting on over, calling it an ending, and then you get the lovers in the hair font. That's like we've learned something in this time out or this period of not knowing where the hell each other has come from. But there needs to be more space, and this would be like I'm trying to learn, you know how to communicate with you so that things are more balanced and normal. And this would be like an improvement in communication. So instead of things being all up in the air, they actually work out. This is not bad either. We, we don't mind that because that can be. I'm coming in to romance you, but it also can be. And you're not over this person anyway. Your energy, the uh, you know, you get the ten of swords here. It's like, I don't want things to be done. I'm, I'm trying to, to put this in a position of making things work but there's been a lot of differences between the two of you with the temperance reversed here it's like this person wants to go out and party and the other person wants to stay home things need to you know jive a little bit and gel a little bit more that means both pe people have to compromise to be happy but that looks pretty good all right taurus virgo and capricorn knights of pentacles ace of swords and the high priestess. Okay, so this person's kind of keeping it to themselves what they're going to do. Maybe they haven't decided. We got the page. Page one's reversed. Why? So this person might not think that you're interested in them. They still have feelings that there is something between the two of you. Yes, because you got the four of wands. That also can be somebody that feels like you want your freedom and that you've kind of cut them out. 
and they're thinking it's like I I want to know what to expect but they don't feel like you're giving them that they're kind of like I don't I don't they're things are too impulsive and happening too fast and so they're feeling like you're possibly a little bit aggressive where they want to move things a little bit too too slow maybe too slow because it's like when when are you gonna fucking you know, like get the shit together and stop acting like a candy ass pansy <sighs> take a breath but the high priestess and the page of swords there's a lot of that defensiveness that we talked about over there i don't really know what to expect from you i'm trying to figure it out and you're kind of playing hard to get they're not really sure what to do why okay but they want to be happy so this is somebody that's going to try to pry you open like a, a peanut and get to the nitty-gritty Ooh, naughty buddy but no we'll stop there that could get really bad they would like to try to get you to open up like an onion and peel you open and try to get more information there's just something about you that they feel like you're kind of playing hard to get or beating around the bush or you're trying to avoid them and yet at the same time or you're keeping part of your life a secret and that you are acting kind of loose. so they're like you're really seductive but i need to know more about you if this is going to go anywhere and your energy you feel like they're kind of uh, a little bit on the controlling side and it's um all up to them like they are the boss of the fucking project and they only give to you when they want to there's definitely a discrepancy but it does look like you're kind of staying to yourself about what you're thinking it's like i'm keeping my thoughts to myself and my feelings you've got possible doubts with this person you've going through a lot of different emotions and it makes you feel kind of shut off so you might feel like this person has been rigid and closed off emotionally towards you but it does seem like I mean, this is making things work and a big change of pace you guys got some really nice energy all right and then with the cut of the deck what to expect so in the future there's more sex ha 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 kidding no it's an it's expansion it's beautiful you got a three and a one you got the four of ones again so that's comfort it's opening the door inviting in and there needs to be a balance of power because if you're looking at this person like they're always the one that's in charge of the money and they make all they call all the shots you cannot have one person that's 100 percent uh, it's my way or the highway. Can't have that. So there needs to be a little bit more balance. Definitely balance. But this looks like it moves forward and generates a lot of sexual tension. But that it's, you know, like they got some new ideas and a bounce in the step. And that, that's because that's your energy. Like it's passionate arousal and enthusiasm and confidence. And I'm excited to spend time with you. And let's invest in this and make this work. So there's a flicker of lovey-dovey in your eyes, and this does look like it can move forward. But they have to open their ass up. The emperor is also a four, and the fours are very closed off. They need to not spread their... Uh, open their mouth, and from thy lips, they need to spill how they feel, but share. Share the fucking chair. Share the chair. They have to share responsibility. They have to share thoughts and they have to let you have an opinion because it doesn't seem like you feel like you do all right do 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 what do we have for majors libra taurus taurus leo scorpio aquarius scorpio heavily very leo aquarius with the star taurus gemini taurus leo scorpio aquarius pisces aries and all signs are in there. All right, my Torrens, that's what we have for you. And I'm off on my broomstick to pick Dad up from the torture chamber he's calling um, the hospital. Because they're out to get Tim. So I suppose I should go get him because he's missing a cigarette. Oh, is he missing it? Do you think I should bring a smokes or make him suffer? Now I'll bring a smokes. All right, on we go. Gemini's, all right. If you're doing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Cups. Really? And the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. And the Two of Swords. Why do we have the Queen of Cups for thoughts? Why are they thinking the Queen of Cups? Page of Wands, Reverse. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can necessarily take this person seriously. They need to make up their mind. You got the Two of Swords here. So their action is speaking louder than words. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to... This is seeming like uh, they're thinking about possibly you forgiving them. However, they might feel like you are a little bit much as far as in very intense. 
their feelings. This is somebody that does not want to calm down, chill the hell out, have something serious. Why, why, why? One more for feelings. Because that can be that they feel like you don't want them around anymore. What's the blockage? Because I'm nosy, nosy, rosy. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the blockage is bullshit that had come out. I mean, it's like, instead of, it's being like, you know, all these little barriers here and, and the wounded warrior making such a big deal out of shit. And this just seems to me like this person has been stubborn and that they had to come clean with you or another person. It seems like they were conce concealing something or that there have been red flags in this person. You just don't feel like you can trust them. I'm more for the Two of Swords. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is seeming like secrets had come out of the uh, little man cave or girl cave here, and this person's not been completely honest with you, and they're not, they're not going to. It's like they don't see telling you what they've been up to. This does seem like somebody that might feel like they can be, that they can pull your leg a little bit as far as emotional, but they're going to do so. They feel kind of smothered, and they don't want to. They absolutely do not want to talk about long term they're they're not digging it right now it's almost like i, I don't want to i'm avoiding you like the damn plague because it's too serious you're too intense so they're kind of a candy ass all right gemini libra aquarius if da if da if da what the hell all right one more okay so why the five of wands for thoughts all right and feeling Nothing more than feel. No, this person's a liar pants. This is somebody that wants their, their freedom. They feel like they're starting over. They feel like they're getting away with. They also could feel like you are the one that got away. Because with their thoughts, this is somebody that feels like five of wands. Constantly struggling to try to what? Get their freedom? Serious. Serious. Later. More for action. I'm going to try to make things the best out of what they are. So what's the actual blockage? Because it seems like they're working on something, all right. I don't think that you're necessarily feeling... It's like it's overload, major overload. Here you would have, I'm taking things so hard, but I got to walk away, all right? Flipped, we have, I am having a hard time getting over you. I feel extremely betrayed, but I need to start not taking... It's like you're not coping well with, with dealing with this person. One more for your thoughts. Three of Wands reverse. You feel like this person was trying to just... You have their way with you. This seems to me with the magician here, it's like you thought that things were going to actually go somewhere. This also can be somebody that absolutely insists on being in control. And they would be extremely a uh, great communicator. But this should have been a new beginning. And you feel like it was going in circles round and round and nowhere to go. And this person's argumentative about something long term or their freedom. They want their fucking freedom. They feel... Like they've kind of sneaking out of the picture here. But who are they working with if not you? Because the King of Cups would be extremely cautious with their emotional trust. And here they're trying to build something with somebody else. Uh-uh. I'm saying that they're making mountains out of molehills and you still have feelings for this person. You got the Two of Cups at the bottom and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can be a real jackass when it comes to any emotions at all. This can be somebody that's like, uh, I got to fucking take off in a damn hurry and you feel like kind of snubbed by this person or that shit went down too fast or this person treated you like a drive-by and was a rapid change. We don't like rapid change. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. One more... All right, why the Eight of Swords for Thoughts? Ooh, this person's kind of afraid to get their ass chewed out. They're afraid of you. This is somebody that's going, oh my God, Gemini's going to rip in my ass, and they're feeling like they're stuck in a corner and that they can't move. I'm trapped until this discussion. I'm trapped because this discussion has to happen, and their fear possibly of being cut out. So why feelings of the wheel? The wheel. Okay, they're not over you. With the tower reverse, this person might have put themselves in a naughty position, as in a rebound. Doesn't have to have been, but with the tower reverse, it's like denial. I'm avoiding an ending. I'm trying. It's like I'm refusing to allow a change, but I want things to go better. They put themselves in the middle of there needs to the the tower needs to come down, 
It needs to completely fall before you can start a new beginning or have a big change. It seems like they hold back and they know they have to do something. Why the chariot for action? Oh boy. What's the blockage? Let's clarify a little bit here. Oh boy. The devil's the blockage and the four of pentacles. This is seeming like it was time for them to drop something that was uh, narcissistic tendencies, their behavior, their actions, their drinking, their drugs, whatever the hell it was. You're just like, uh, uh, you can't do it. They need to be more open with you. The four of pentacles, this is somebody that is very hell bent on not letting you know how they feel. They keep their feelings to themselves. They cause a lot of doubts. But this is also speaking of routine, and it's like they need to stop doing what they're doing or things won't go forward. Bottom of the deck, you're irritated as hell. You have strength reversed for your energy. So you're apprehensive about this person. Let's get a cut. And then you got the six swords. It's like, do you want to move on from this person, or are you trying to go things could clear up if you got your head out of your ass? This also can be somebody that got, I'm just going to say it like I see it, because this will be for like 1%. This could be that this person got somebody knocked up because the chariot, it's like, I'm determined to what? Have something grow? And well, that can be in somebody's tummy. Let's get one more for action. It's a lot of determination. Okay. Does this person feel, okay, like 1% here, 1%. All right. So we're up to 2%. Does this person feel like you're trying to trap them in a pregnancy? It really does feel like this person feels trapped. They're, they're thinking they're, you know, really going to be getting in trouble from somebody else, but their actions, this can be that they're off to a, a new beginning with somebody else, but it's because they got something growing in the tum tum tummy. I can't stop thinking about you, but it's a likely outcome because I'm nosy. Likely outcome. Eight of Wands. All right. That's uh, pressure to move on. Okay, what do we got at the bottom now for you? We got the hangman and the three cups. You feel like you're in limbo. It's under that. Oh, there's that strength again reversed. So are you irritated because you're in limbo and you're wanting this person to actually put some work into something and you feel like you've been sacrificing enough? With the page of swords for an outcome with the eight of wands, that would be a little apprehensive, but still trying to get information so that you can move on or move forward either way. Seven of Wands, you're trying to come to terms with things and it just seems like there's a discussion that they know and you both know that has to be had before you can go forward. And for like I said, 2% of you, this could be that there's a pregnancy that wasn't planned. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, nine, four of cups, nine of swords, one more. Ace of Wands. Well then, one more for thoughts. Source, one more for thoughts. They got a headache. They're not sure if you're interested. This person feels like you're kind of looking the other way. They're like, well, if they were interested in me, maybe they'd be talking to me. But they, this person could have been bored. The King of Wands is like very determined to have what the hell they want. With the Ace of Wands, it's like, I want a new beginning and I have a flicker of fire in my eyes and passion and I want you. I want you. Give me, give me, give me. But do they need to have their ego stroked all the time? Because that Four of Cups, it's almost like, I'm not satisfied with the amount of attention that I get. Don't feel like, they, they feel like you're just not into them. So one more for the Ace of Wands for action. This person wants to put the work in. They feel comfortable with you, but they are worried that there could be a disagreement or that they've been deceived or that they're deceiving your ass. So it's a blockage. King of Pentacles. There could be another person involved and they have to do a little ass kissing. King of Pentacles is supposed to be like the married spousey type card, somebody that takes care of business, but with the Five of Cups reversed, how can we honestly say that this person's been doing anything but trying to slowly get over, or you're trying to slowly get over them, or possibly that the optimism of this connection could be coming open again. It's like, I'm open to this if there's an apology and if you act like an adult, but this person's all about the... I feel like you're not interested. How do you see them? How do you see them? All right, one more. 
Okay, if they come at you right and they come to terms with get the bottom of the deck, you have the king of swords. That is somebody that you could be feeling like this person's really hard to live with, that they always are cold and stand offish and they kind of keep to themselves and they always make you wonder what the hell they're thinking. And it's like, this isn't healthy for me anymore. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. You need to be a little more of this here. Knight of Cups. I want romance. I want them something positive. It seems like they're willing to try to make things work. And they're very worried about the difference or if there's honesty here. The Five of Swords could be this person's looking for a little bit of clarity. Or that they feel, again, like you're showing no interest and they're worried about that. It does seem like you could, if they came at you right. It could be that you are wishing that they get some justice too. Ha ha ha, like a little bit of a karma slap upside the head. But this is optimism. It's promises made and kept and not broken. So it seems like there's been a little bit of a, this is makeup sex, I don't care. Makeup sex. But this does seem like somebody that's thinking that you aren't as interested in them as that you once had been. Well, if they had schmucked up, you got justice upright though. That's wanting a resolution. All right, let's see who we have. Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, it's not, not a bad looking devil if I do say so myself. Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, 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 Pisces, Cancer. Pisces again, but all signs are in there. All right, my jummies, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Crabby Pettis, Source. They are doing an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Ooh, the sun. This person's thinking very optimistically. Ooh. All right, they want you to give them a chance. It's like I, I. Or they're giving you a chance. One more for what, what, what? Okay. This person feels like the two of you, as far as an action, what this person's doing, they're kind of giving you the got to give to get type shit. It's like there's got to be a turnaround. I'm not going to sacrifice what I've got, blah, blah, blah. The blockage is this person needs to be a more optimistic. Drop the crap. And how the hell are you supposed to do that if this person's not willing to commit? Uh-uh. They're not willing to commit. They're almost kind of like, I'm only giving you so much. What the hell is that shit? And then this knight here, only again, very slow. But they're very optimistic. What the hell is that? One more for blockage. Nah, this person, it's like they keep making excuses. More excuses. More excuses. Trying to kind of like I'm, I'm giving you um a reason to believe it's like they're not compromising not putting the work in one does one does not and then it's like i'm an escape artist and i'm reluctant to give you what you're looking they're a candy ass how do you see this person like they only let the the connection go just so far you feel like eventually things are just going to be a distant memory as far as you're concerned because this person never settles down they always leave things open-ended so you got there's needing a change so that we can try to move forward but how the hell can you the seven of everything's all up in the air everything is all a loofah loofah this person keeps you like they dangle the carrot in front of you and that you don't know where the hell things are ever going to go the seven here it's like what do I do next? What am I supposed to what am I supposed to do? It's like this person I enjoy being with them, but I'm confused by them at the same time. Well, they're making you definitely confused and they don't want to commit anytime soon. They're only going to give this far. It's like if if you try to push them anymore, they they aren't willing to give you exactly what you want. And with the hangman reverse, it's just like possibly also making you feel jealous. Or they're just never giving you any reason to believe that there's ever going to be any more progress. They kind of keep you just arm's length. It's bullshit. All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Page of Wands. Temperance. All right. And the Fool. Okay. One more for the Page of Wands reversed. All right, this person would like to, they're thinking about how to get your attention. They might be feeling like you're kind of 
ignoring them or they're putting drama in their own head and it doesn't have to be there. They're trying to figure out a way to basically like, I'm here, here, pay attention. And they feel like you are just kind of going, maybe, maybe not. This is somebody that they feel, one more. Okay, like you aren't interested in them or they're not getting any nookie, I'll say that. And this is somebody that's like, if I don't get what I want, I'm fucking out of here. I don't like this shit. And the fool for overall uh, what they're going to do, one more. It's almost like they are telling you that things have got to change. And you're kind of going, you are going, this isn't going anywhere. Why are you, I, I'm waste, I've wasted enough time on you. You don't reciprocate the feelings that I have. You're never giving back. So it's like, I'm, I'm tired of uh, unreciprocated emotions and we are not capable you know no you're kind of like go away to your man cave or your girl cave and figure your shit out give me a blockage that ain't good no that ain't good that's somebody that doesn't want to commit and the two of you can't communicate clearly you're not interested in me anymore how about maybe they lost fucking like fire and passion for you and this person basically they feel like you know they can do whatever the hell they want this is somebody that's kind of an aggressive person and here this would be a commitment fold that does not communicate or makes really really bad decisions so how do you see them all right you want them back are you trying to get them back cut of the deck would say so yeah do you really want un unreciprocated emotions and where you're the one? This is almost like you would say, I'm more in love with them than they are with me. And yet I want there to be stability and they want their damn freedom. And this person's like, all you want is this and all you want. And they're sick of it. They, they just are not giving to it. And yet they can do whatever they want. Really? No. I feel like that person's been a little bit toying with your emotions. It's like unreliable but still impatient, self-serving. Tell them to play a little pocket pool somewhere else if they think that they aren't going to get lucky with you. What the hell is that? I can do whatever I want. Okay, go around other places and do whatever the hell you want then. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, why the Knight of Wands for thoughts? Well, you know what the hell they're thinking about. This is somebody that wants a new beginning. They want to speak. They're very focused on getting laid, basically. But this is somebody that wants to face any problems and be honest with you. We're going to talk. It's like they have the courage to try to talk to you. But it's like working on current problems as far as what? It's like I'm knowing I'm interested. And they might be feeling like you're kind of giving them the friend zone. And more for feelings. Yep, it does look like they're they're feeling like you aren't interested in trying to make things work or that you have said that they party too much. This person just feels like there's a disconnection between the two of you. They feel out of sorts. Romantically, they could be entertaining other people. But the three of swords reversed here. Why? 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 Okay. This person basically has kind of given up on the on the idea of trying to work things out between you and them. They feel like it's just, I'm going to forget about it and I'm going to move on because that's the best thing for me. They're not really giving it. So it's like, I think that they're actually trying to get over you because of the fact that they feel like you're never going to give them the time of day again. It does look like you've turned their, your back on this person kind of going, when the hell is this going? I've decided on, I'm eager, I'm moving forward, I'm trying to get comfortable. It's, uh, uh, what's the blockage? Clarify. All right. This person may have not been over their ex. This also can be that you feel left out emotionally, that you're not getting what you need. Well, why in the hell should you be patient with that? And at the same time, we get the world reverse. That's feeling like there's a failed attempt at trying to get back with this person. And they've kind of just given it, fuck it then. I'm going to just straight up do whatever the hell I, I this person can be like, I'm cutting this out here. This is just what I'm doing and I can do whatever the hell I want. I can come and go as I want. Do they, do they feel like you friend zone them and the things are never going to be the same between you because of the third party that you put you, they put you in? Eh, your feelings. Fuck you, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. So you let them, you just let them know. 
I don't trust you as far as I could spit at you. Spit, spit balls and tasers. Kind of sound good to you. You feel like this person's been keeping secrets behind your back and that you can't trust them. And I would say that with the five here, it's like I, you're showing no interest in trying to figure them out. I don't want to know what the hell you're up to. It's like self-esteem problems and lying and deceit. It's like... Uh, no, they're, it's like they're taking it out on you and you're trying to figure out what the hell, what the hell is everything that, mm, no, I'm just going to say fuck this and I'm over you and with the devil here, I, they might be tempted to try to come your direction again. So you still look in your wounds? It's like, really? You got to fucking rub it in? No, go away devil, Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, two came out. What do we got? Seven of pentacles and the mama. All right person does not want to nurture this connection anymore why the two of cups then mm -hmm. okay two came out this is somebody that basically they're trying to think of a way possibly to get even with you or they feel like there's been taking sides that there's like an emotional coldness between the two of you and that you're there's basically like one blaming the other and they feel very bitter right now I feel like they've wasted their time. The blockage is the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay, did this person start into a new connection? If you're not talking to this person, they basically are not wasting their time on, and this could be that you have children with this person, but they're done. They're done. They're like, I'm not wasting any more time. I wasn't happy here, so screw it. I'm off to another connection. And with this King of Cups reverse, it's almost like they're being cold, cold as ice towards you so that it could start something up new uh -uh. your feelings i'm starting over was about done with you anyway you're not worrying about it and this person you just feel like page the page of cups when it is reversed it's like don't sit there and fucking pout at me because you didn't put the work into it. Things were one-sided. It caused a lot of jealousy and bitterness. And it's like, I'm sorry, but even if you did apologize, I'm looking for somebody that is optimistic, isn't toying with me, doesn't have possibly somebody else knocked up, can also say that because this could be why they all of a sudden put themselves in another connection. But they're kind of just, well, I have to do this. It's the, it's the, but they're not making any resolution. I'm sitting here trying to figure things out. I'm quietly processing this. I'm thinking. I'm withdrawn. Yeah, they're doing other shit. And you're kind of going, I'm optimistically getting over your ass because you don't show any feelings. You just don't care. You're just like, I'm over this shit. I can't, I can't deal with it. It's not satisfying. You have broken my heart and I am not dealing with it anymore. And this person, as far as their action, they could be trying to get back at you. I'm just sitting, saying here, just sitting here saying that King of Cups refers to somebody that can be an emotional manipulator. And it's almost like they still continue to toy with you. I don't care. Don't care. Who cares? This, this is no. You guys got some royal shit today. I'm sorry. All right. So we have Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer. Let me miss. All right. Leo, Libra, Taurus, Libra, very heavily, Virgo. And all signs are in there, all right? Rabbit patties, that's what we got for you, and on we go. La la la, Leo's dealing with another Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius source. Ooh, stubborn. Why are we always so stubborn? Why is that? Okay, so this person's basically all up in their head going, This isn't fair. This is somebody that wants to try to take a different approach to things. They still have feelings for you. This is somebody that still feels like you're the right one. They are trying to. They're feeling optimistic, but this in their mind, they feel like you're not going to give them the opportunity to try to make up for lost time, or they feel like you're not supporting them, or that things have been uneven or unfair, or that nothing's changed even after possibly talking. But it's like they're not paying attention. They need to pay attention. This person also could be feeling like they're thinking that you're holding back and that you're sick and tired of their bullshit and that... They don't get enough appreciation from you, really. What is the blockage? 
black edge. Not a good black edge. No, not a good black edge. Did this person fuck around on you? Okay, with the cut of the deck, it seems like you've got the feeling that this person's emotions were not reciprocated or they were acting fake or they were kind of lying through their big fat teeth. But the blockage is potentially a, hey, I, you know, I thought I'd just step out of this connection so that I could go in a different direction and play footsie with somebody else. Oops. <laughs> this person, it's like they need a confidence booster and they possibly have you accusing them and they do not know what to do to try to make up for lost time they don't know they want to talk their action is coming in one more i'm going to be more responsible and i will respect any damn thing you say they really want another opinion. how do you see them all right you're not sure you're just like ah you, you can wait everything that's going on between the two of us now you can wait for me to make up my mind if I'm comfortable with this shit anymore. It's like, you're going to have to be patient with me. I'm interested, but I'm not sure. It's like, maybe I'll, you know, what, are you willing to sacrifice something? Or are you willing to be breadcrumbed by this person? But the hangman says that there's this feeling of not sure if you're going to be generous towards this person and give them that second chance. Still not sure if the connections make sense in your mind. It's something that you have to assess if this is going to pay off and, and tell them. They're kind of like, but I'm going to do this and I'm... Okay, it's not going to fucking happen overnight, person, so they need to chill out. But they are still feeling that the two of you are connected. And you're not really... You're kind of going, seriously? I don't really want to talk. I'm going to avoid you right now. There's some major red flags going off. Ding, ding, ding in your head. And you want more truth about this before you're going to invest in it it's like yeah there can be a major history there but you need some answers before you're going to give this person a second chance or any chance all right gemini libra aquarius came out really quick why do we have the three of ones reversed this person's they're thinking that you're short-sighted. They think that you are going to rip into them like Godzilla. They have feelings, and this is somebody that could be... And they're missing you, but what are they going to do about it? One more for the Page of Cups. I miss you. Things have to change. Why are they giving up? One more. No, they know things. I mean, you could get ba-doom, ba-doom. You got to match up here. So this is somebody that knows that they got to be serious. They have to be very direct with you. They have to... They have to figure out a way to be able to express themselves where the two of you understand each other and they might feel like you're kind of putting them off or avoiding them or leading them on and that you're the fucking mega bitch. They don't feel that the emotions between the two of you are stable. What's a blockage? Blockage. Not, not any good. Another fucking person. This seems like somebody that has broken your heart because they stepped out of the connection and started playing footsie with another person called third party bullshit. How do you see them? Mm, boy. Okay. You, you see that shit just ain't going right for this person. They need to be more serious. So it's like you need to figure out what you want. One more for your empress because that would be wanting to, things to grow. I don't know if you're so sure about this. Because you've got the other one that wanted to follow is the hair font reversed. Are they taking you seriously or not? This seems like a connection where things go back and forth and then you don't know what to do. It's like, okay, um, if you've got kids with another person or whatever it is, I can adapt. I can I can work with this where there's timeshare crap and I I'm I'm very capable of doing this, but you have to be more transparent and I you just see them not being able to keep things balanced. At all. They also could have treated you like an option. There also can be a little one on the way too. But it's like, I would like things to grow, but you stifle them. So they know they got to face the mega bitch. And they, they, I do think that they're kind of going, our emotional aren't going anywhere. It's going in reverse. I never know what, to, they don't feel like they know what the hell to expect from you. Okay. This also can be somebody, I just got to add this in here, that is not sure about what they even freaking want. I'm sure the hell it ain't going to be like snapping overnight either. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
the world reverse the lovers one more one more okay i do believe that this person actually wants to fight for this connection they feel like you 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 might be kind of pushing them away or that they've gotten played oh this is definitely somebody that wants to have it out we shall debate what's going on between us this person feels like i don't care if i have to nitpick i don't know where i stand with you and i fucking want to know they have feelings yes they are not thinking that the two of you are done they think that the two of you they think that the two of you can still work out they're optimistic but not rushing it i can't push or this isn't going to work so it's like i see a future with you i don't want to be without you but i know things have to be resolved why the lovers for feelings okay they're not over you and they want to try to reconcile and work things oh what is a blockage somebody wasn't happy and somebody wasn't honest about it your energy over here so the blockage is possibly somebody that's conceited and kind of keeps to themselves or they might uh they might be actually acting really distant and it makes you unsure it's like there's clouds in front of this person and you're not sure what the hell the truth is the high priestess is a lot of different things but it's also trying to use your gut instinct so you're kind of pulling back feeling that they're kind of keeping secrets and you're not really seeing the real them but here you got it's like i miss you but i'm at the same time i don't i don't know what to do and i say that because at the bottom of the deck you feel kind of stuck it's like i i don't know what to do i don't want to rush into anything but i'm trying to get over you i do miss you but it, this might just be the end one more for outcome yeah i just think that i just think that you're kind of saying i need to start over and this person could have kind of kept you under their thumb like they were the person that always had to be in fucking charge and they always said what we're doing and they were bossy and demanding and control freak and no, it just seems like you're saying, I got to walk away from this because I love myself more than I love you. What's best for me is not what's best for you. And boy, are they pissy about it. You've deceived me. Well, they're nitpicking and bullshitting at you and arguing about nothingness. And they sit there and you're the one for me. I love you so much. Yeah, but did you screw around? I'm not over you. Don't care. Go party elsewhere. I can still make things work. No, you can't. This seems like there could have been. You have two threes, so that can be that there had been another party involved, whether it's person or work or other family members. It doesn't matter. It just seems like you feel like this shit ain't never going nowhere. It's like it's going nowhere fast. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm here. Nine of Cups. Two of Wands will be like that. One more okay you are mine i must have you i want you so this person wants to be very direct you have the nine of cups i want to be happy my wish fulfilled i'm thinking about how much time i'd like to spend with you all the different satisfactory different ways i want to position you while i pleasurably sensually move towards you i'm wishing for you i want you this is somebody that's like i'm determining what path i want but they their energy with the four pentacles one more they okay and this just seems like they're kind of keeping their feelings to themselves because they're afraid of what what are they afraid of they're afraid that you're going to say you're not interested and that you really never planned on sticking up for this connection. That's just like external conditions possibly, uh, but it's like they can't hold you down or you just feel like if you gave this person an opportunity, you'd kind of lose your, your footing because there's lack of peace here. One more blockage. And it does seem like they, you know, who's not interested or who's screwing around? Why the Queen of Wands reversed? Nah, da, 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 da. no thank you this seems like somebody that stepped out of the connection and you put them on fucking ignore kind of like please go the fuck away at the bottom of the deck we have the four of wands it's like you close the door on the whore and then you get the two of swords it's like there's a major stalemate i found everything out i am very illuminated by what the hell's happened here and i changed the locks on the doors and you need not need to come around anymore it's like you're having difficulties 
It's like, I, I know what to expect from you now, and this is not working for me. Four of Wands reversed is just like, it's too difficult. This is not what I was expecting. You let me down. The agreement that we had, you have fucking fallen through. And it, it just might also feel like they're never fucking happy. It's impossible to please this person, and it wasn't stable. So it just feels like you're kind of giving up. But I'm saying this person is, I'll talk no action. I want all the attention, everything's about me, and I'm coming at, I mean, that's a lot of fast action, and they feel like they're not getting that, fuck yeah. It's almost somebody that doesn't mean that they had to have been, it seems like all their, their cookie crumbled, heaven forbid, and that you don't want to talk to them since they, what, got busted in another hippity hop hole? No, not okay. And they do, they feel like it's hard to take any action towards you, they don't, they just feel like that, that you're going to basically tell them to piss off. Kind of like, well, I guess I got to keep my emotions to myself because you doubt that I, I do though. I love you. I want you to take me back. All right. Let's see what we get for, what is like the outcome for this person and you? Cool. They got to stop. They got to stop being an ass. This is somebody that's like, you're still comfortable with this person, but they need to give you more of a feeling of what to expect. It's like, I need to know what to expect, but you could get information about family or whatever. There's still feelings here. It's underneath of that. But there's a fear that this person is going to get emotional ADD or not give you the attention that you think that you deserve. There's something amiss. If they had been possibly playing footsie or flirty with somebody else and you wondered what the hell was actually going on, I don't think they were completely honest with you, but they want to be happy. They want to, and it just seems like you're kind of going, I don't know if I can trust this. That eight of pentacles reverse can be, um, mm, I don't want to say, needs aren't being met or it's complicated or worn out and this feels more like it's complicated what's going on and it brings up and stirs up memories from the past you know shit that you've already been through but i would say that this person still feels like there's a future between the two of you and they feel like you are holding back because they still have emotions that you aren't accepting you're kind of going eh -eh, not happening and it does seem like they feel that you're kind of going i need some major major space since this tower came on down but this to me seems like somebody that can be one hell of an attention whore in very bad ways. Don't like it. Don't like it. But it does seem like you want to try to work things out. Why? Why? Give me a card. Why? Because I have made promises to myself that this person's going to meet my... Are they going to meet your expectations? Are you really that hopeful? You got two wishy-wishies here. It feels a little wishy-washy. I mean, high expectations, wanting my needs met, and you're worried that if ever going to happen. So why should you have to be so anxious about somebody that doesn't seem to know what the hell they want? And then they change their mind, and you're kind of going, but the shit already went down, Scorpio. All right. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Leo... Taurus and Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right, but all signs are in there, my Leos. Okay, that's what we got for you. Now we go. Virgo. All right, let's see what we got for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Swords. What else came flying out? Seven of Pentacles. One more. Whoa, the crap. Hang on. All right, so it took a digger and hit the floor. It was the page. Page of Swords. This person's kind of apprehensive. It seems like they're trying to figure out what's going on. In their mind, they feel like they might be twisting um, fates a little bit or feeling like you might cut them out, but they just feel like they can't move. I can't breathe. I feel smothered. Really, then. Okay, why the seven pentacles? I wish I may, I wish I might. This is somebody that's feeling like you are still somebody that they are thinking about. They're still fantasizing about you. If this person sees sees the connection as possibly 
wanting to start from scratch, wanting to try to make things right, but they know there has to be a change. The, eight of one, the swords can be, it's like, I'm a fear of being cut out or that they have trust issues as far as trying to move past you. Why, 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 why? One more. They're not sure if things are still up in the air as far as you're concerned or what the hell you're thinking at all. All right, so why the page of swords for action? They feel like they've been watching you, watching you, watching you, and things aren't going anywhere. This person's like, I want to know if you're jealous. I want to know if you don't feel like we're ever going to work out. Or with the hair font reversed, it's like they didn't learn a fucking lesson. Or they feel like you aren't going to continue to give them what they're looking for as far as any commitment. So the blockage, we don't like that at all. Mm-mm. The blockage, the two, remember we said we flippy flippy, so we go this way. Somebody that's vain, possibly treating you like an option, like, I don't really know what I want, but they're not committing to squat, and it seems like they're watching you. I still feel there's hope and faith, but you're on the fence. That's kind of where they're at. They're like, Virgo's holding all the cards. They don't know whether to shit or get off the pot or not. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is like, I'm overwhelmed with the mess that I've made, and they know that they need to take a needed step, but boy... They're not being honest about th their feelings at all. This person could have been, I don't really want anything long term. I just kind of want to play. I don't want to stay. They're commitment phobia. And yet you're like a conquest to them. How do you see this person? Okay. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the dog should have bit you. You're kind of going, you never were open and honest and I've heard through the grapevine through friends and uh you know what I'm, I'm I'm not willing to to see this through it's like you've used your intuition with this person as far as your emotions but the king of cups is very standoffish with with their emotions and it seems like you've had friends on the inside type thing getting information and they're like you're fucking spying them yeah yeah i'm fucking might be spying on you tough shit but you feel like you've gotten the truth and everything that you need and with the three of pentacles reversed it's like yeah they made a mess and they don't have any motivation it's like i don't have any confidence in things working out with you it's like i'm stressed out and frustrated but you're busted and you can just go 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 away I've had enough of you. So this person, they're, they're, they still have hope and faith, but they're not willing to admit it. And it seems like they feel like you're watching them from afar. And it's like, well, isn't that just tough shit? Too bad, so sad. I want one more for outcome. Likely outcome. Okay. I just feel like you're trying to, it's like, I will have a new beginning. I will have a bounce in my step. I have a flicker in my eyes and I'm passionately aroused by possibly somebody new. I need to get over you. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Boom. Boom. Oh, boom. Oh, boom -bitty boom I don't like their, their fucking action. Why the Queen of Wands reversed? I feel like they're being sneaky, snaky, and they're trying to avoid any conflict, but they do not know where the hell they stand with you. The Queen of Wands, when reversed, can be devious, trying to get their way, plotting against anybody else. And this, your energy with the Two of Swords reversed is kind of going, I see what I see you for who you truly are, and my choice, I've already made up my goddamn mind. I'm going a different direction. See, not looking at you, going a different direction. Why the Tower for Thoughts? Okay, because they're fucking selfish. This is somebody that cannot get over the idea that the two of you are just done and they're thinking very deviously. I'm going to smooth talk Virgo into doing this and doing that, but they're they're trying to have... Oh, okay, uh, this is somebody that's trying to not actually say hey i'm sorry but they are they are sorry i'm sorry that i treated you this way and blah 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 or that i stepped out on the connection but with the four of swords it feels like they're growing i'm trying to give you an explanation i'm trying to explain to you i miss you i think about you possibly thinking about an apology but they feel like there's too much tension and the blockage is uh full reverse they are taking chances they shouldn't and it seems like something came out in the wash. Remember, we take the, the blockage and we flip it. So, did we have a hidden hoe and that got 
got found out because this person has some major red flags. And with the fool reversed, I'd say you're not taking any chances with them anymore. But it seems like they took a chance at possibly getting interest in somebody else. And they're acting immature. But they aren't aware of everything that you know. This is like baggage that needs to be cleared up. And this person kind of wants their freedom and doesn't want the responsibility. And you see them for who they are. How do you... Let's get one for how do you feel. You feel like it's going nowhere fast and that they lead people on. Let's get a cut. All right, so with a cut, we have the Nine of Swords. So don't stress out about this person. Don't be all up in your head. Don't like try to do 90 miles an hour in your brain because it seems like you're giving yourself a harder time than you really need to. Ten of Wands, it's like I'm still willing to go the distance with this person, but I'm worried about trying it. And you just feel like I need some God dang peace you're trying to let go of it. You're having a hell of a time trying to let go of it. And your mind, it's like you constantly think about what you saw or what you heard or whatever's happened between the two of you. And you're just kind of going, you, you're, you're a big damn show off. And this is not going anywhere. You're frustrated, likely outcome. All right. I don't think that you're giving them what they want. This would basically be saying that your confidence is taking some hard knocks right now. But this person basically makes you feel miserable and you should be more optimistic. Five of Pentacles. Yes, I feel abandoned, but it's time that you just let it go. This is basically, it's time to let it go because it's like all the accusations in the world and being reluctant. It's like you're reluctant to just stop talking to this person, even though they were leading you on. And I'd say that they'd still go there if you gave them an opportunity. They don't care if, if you've locked the door and you've said, no, nah, I don't want to really talk to you. They aren't accepting that. Snake, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Pentacles, Justice. One more. All right. King of Pentacles. Well, very nice. All right. Ooh. This person's looking for a new adventure in love. However, I will remind you that the King of Cups is very loving, very devoted, and it's all in th and thought at this point it's like I would like to care about you I would like to reach the point of something tangible between the two of us like a foundation so let's see I feel like you're the right person for me they're seeing that you are very confident about yourself and they they like what they see so this is just starting out it seems now if this is an ex they feel like there can be a resolution and their action would be kind of acting like an adult for once one more but I feel like it's all in theory right now because the moon, I think they're afraid like a candy ass to try to get your attention. All right, the blockage. One more. Okay, it could be that neither one of you are moving here at all because the magician reverse can be like no action at all and the two of wands is like backing up and going ixnay on the talk, hey. And this also could have been manipulation and somebody with a roaming eye. You don't like that shit either. Why justice for feelings? They still feel like there can be a resolution in your connection, but did they kind of take away any choices or thought that they could be, it's my way or the highway, and it can't work that way. If this person was manipulative to you and gave you a false sense of hope, or they just made you feel like you had serious doubts that things were not going to work and not wanting to risk it, it's almost like this person's, it's out of convenience because they're copping out. It also could have been somebody that was not on the serious side and was is looking or checking out an old acquaintance or, you know, things had gotten old between the two of you or whatever, but they want to try to make things work with you now. Uh -huh. Your thoughts. All right. Okay, so with the six of wands, I would say that you really are kind of like, I'm. I'm. you misled me. You were vain. You were unwilling to to initiate anything sturdy, and this got this got old with you. You're like all the delays. I'm done. I feel neglected by you, and you'd have to come at me a lot differently. You still have feelings for that person, but it's like it's time for them to grow up and stop being Peter Pan and never never land. 
and you just feel like the maturity level between the two of you is shit. And this does seem like somebody that could be on the arrogant side. And they have the idea that they can do whatever they want and play and whatever, you know, and you're kind of going, I, are you ever going to grow up? You fucking toys are a kid. But do you take them seriously or not? They're really kind of... I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm anxious about being an adult. We don't like that shit manipulator. Oh, why in the hell should you wait around for that? I'm going to try to make things fair. It also can be this person feels like they're getting the the, uh, the good end of a, an outcome as far as in a divorce. Kind of like, it's all going to go my way. I've got news for them. It's going to go your way. With the cut of the deck, that's definitely saying that this person would be all up in their head in the wrong direction because they basically have, they're toast. They're toast. If there's court sessions going on with that justice card, you win, not them. And they think they're going to win the house back or whatever. All right. Oh, look at that. Seriously, that wanted to come out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. One more. Okay. So it does seem like this person's action with the Five of Cups, they're walking away. They may feel regret about putting themselves in a position of they want, they want their freedom. They're kind of like, I need to be single for a while. With the Three of Pentacles reversed here, this person feels like things just weren't working out and they're looking for a change. Why the Three of Pentacles reversed? Okay, well, who didn't put the work into it? This could be that this person didn't show you enough attention. This could be that this person, did, you know, they had emotional ADD or they didn't, mm, what am I, lazy. Like they, they expected too much or thought that you expected too much and it's like it doesn't work or it feels like it doesn't work and this person could have been preoccupied with another goddamn other person. We don't like that. And the blockage is, again, the feeling of time to grow up, Peter Pan. Because this would be vindictive shit. And this person, they could have been hurt in the past and they're taking it on you. Because the Six of Cups reversed, it's kind of like you, you need to stop acting like everything revolves around you. Especially if this is a newer connection because it's like, I miss you, but you're, you're stuck on old baggage. There's an attachment, but there's a flood of old memories that this person might have some major regrets of, and they could be comparing you to an ex, but they're obsessing with the past, and this is somebody that is possibly having been manipulated by somebody else. Oh my God, how do you see them? How do you see them? All right. You feel like they kind of dangle the carrot in front of you, and you're just not sure what the hell to expect from them, but I'll definitely tell you that you're getting bored of this shit. I, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of these games. Four of Cups. I'm done being interested. I'm going to stick my fingers in my ear and go, la, la, la. I'm sick of hearing the same damn thing. You feel like there needs to be a transition for you or I'm just done. Just done with this connection because your energy here, I have sacrificed so much to give you the attention that you thought you fucking deserved and you always get your damn way. And with the sun reverse, it's like, I, I'm not happy with this shit. Things did not work out the way it's like, I can't, I can't think straight. I can't think clearly. And that sun reversed. It's like, that can be somebody was conceited and they almost left you kind of dangling that carrot in front of you. But I feel like this person's, they miss you, but they just don't feel like things were going to work or they feel like you just lost interest in them. So they're making a big change and doing whatever the hell they want. Well, let's get one more for outcome. Outcome. No, it doesn't look like you're going to give this person any more chances. No more chances. I've been taken for granted, and I'm not doing it. Not anymore. It's like, you expect way too much of me, and I am sick and tired of it being one-sided. So that's like, piss off, person. All right, let's see what we have for majors. Torso, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer. Let's hang in there. Libra. Aries. Capricorn. Not a bad looking devil, I gotta say. All right. Scorpio. Cancer. Taurus. Aquarius. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right, my Virgos. That's what we have for you. And on we go. Libras. If you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, and in this order. Ooh, this person feels 
very sexually attracted to you. They feel very, like they got a, a big woody. It's like, I have a bounce in my step. They feel they want you. They definitely are going to be like coming in to get your attention. But what's holding them back? What is holding this person back? They, it's, uh, okay, if this is somebody from the past, there needs to be more balance, there needs to be more compromise, so that can be that this person not, not always willing to compromise, or they kind of hold back, because it's like, they still have trust issues that they need, the two of you need to be able to compromise a little bit more, and this person's like, you need to have a little more patience with me. But they want to move towards the, the end game, I mean, it's like, I want to meet your expectations. I definitely have big ideas in mind. How do you see this person? All right. They, you get a little ants in your pants with this person, too. I would say you're sexually attracted to them, but it's like you'll give some consideration. If this is the ex, they, they need to grow up and act like a big boy or girl. It does seem like you you want action to take place, but you're kind of going... I'm still really kind of thinking about this. This whole Knight of Wands here is like, I want this Queen of Pentacles energy where it's like something serious, not something just to, the, the, it sticks around for a short period of time and it just like, got to cruise, got to go. It's that there's definitely a feeling of chemistry here, but you're wondering if this is going to be a good investment. So how does this go forward if it's the X? Okay. I mean, you're being a little bit anxious about the idea of starting over with this person, but I would say that if they took things slow, you'd be willing to possibly hear them out. I mean, you got happiness and contentment and seeing that this person is actually putting effort into it. It does look like beginning, but it does seem like you're kind of not sure, a little bit leery, kind of losing sleep. That's the, I don't know what to do about this. Can we really start from ground zero? But I would say that you do want to try to make things work. You're anxious to see if they're actually going to put the work into it and if you're going to invest or not. If this is somebody new, it does seem like they hold back a little bit. They don't possibly see that the two of you might actually have a lot in common but they're it's like it's not going to stop this person they still want to succeed and they're trying to prove a point like i want you know i want to more than just screw and you're kind of going yeah but are you offering anything so it's typical freaking dating shit do i trust you or not well i'm holding back too oh quit people all right gemini libra aquarius the lovers the Eight of Coin and the Fool. Ooh, ooh. Why the Fool? Why the Fool? All right, this person's not sure where they stand with you. They would like to take a chance, but at the same time, they might feel like there's a little bit of competition here. They feel like, with this, this Eight here, very nice. It's like, I feel like this is something that I would want. I feel like there's quality here, and I'm wanting to achieve, uh, achieve some relationship goals. So it's like, I'm trying to learn about you. The thoughts of the lovers, they could be thinking, uh, you're the one. One more. Ooh. If this is the ex, yes, they still don't know exactly where they stand with you. But what Kevin Flynn out is they're willing to put the work into it. So they're, they're willing to kind of go, let's start from ground zero. If this is the ex, let's start from ground zero. Let's get the nitpicky bullshit out of the way so that we can try to work on things. But they want to build a foundation again. If this is somebody new, you could meet them at work. There could be the feeling that this person's checking out more than just one person. So you could be a little on the mm, not so sure side about that. See what for singles outcome. All right. All right. I mean, it does seem like things would actually go better than you think, so don't hold back too much because it does seem like this person has narrowed down that they have options, which couldn't be here. They don't want to look at any other options. This is somebody that it's like you kind of have to go for it and open up a little bit. And with the cut of the deck, you have the Emperor. Yeah, that's like Aries energy big time. But it's like you're in charge. You're in charge of where things go. But the emperor is like for singles, meeting somebody soon and with all qualities of all the kings, doesn't have to be male, but very um, 
sturdy foundation and supportive type role so nice if this is the ex this would be like them making up their mind and the two of you trying to move on from a hard time but you're being a little bit stubborn sorry but that's what it's looking like where you're kind of holding back going i'm not sure if they're going to put the work into it or not and they want to be like I still see you as the right one for me. I feel like we need to communicate better, but yes, let's actually have this talk and see where things go from here and willing to go with the flow. So they're kind of like, let's just try it. What you know, instead of holding back, let's just take it slow and, and see how it goes. Alrighty. Move that over. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh, the two of cups. This person feels hurt, betrayed. Okay, they got a confession for you. They've really, re, you know, rethought this. Somebody that does feel like there's a lot of things unspoken between the two of you, but they're kind of coming to the conclusion that they need to, to learn how to compromise and they have to come clean with you. This is somebody that actually, it's like all their bullshit from the past has kind of snuck up on them and they have definitely rethought this. They're thinking about you in a very, we still have feelings for each other type way. Your energy is going, I don't know, don't know. Um, I heard from a person that you think you can have your way with everything. Now, if you are single, look at that. Just keeps getting better and it right down narrows to the emperor again. So singles, this would be like, let's start slow. You could feel like this person is um, kind of out of your league, but not because you got the ace here and the sun. It's like a new beginning. They see you as somebody that would, they would dig and like, can we, do we feel the same way about each other? And this is somebody that might feel that they've been hurt in the past and a little bit leery, but they're just coming out of that painful experience. That's for singles. Now, if it's somebody from the past, they're still thinking about a confession of how they feel, things they've done possibly, and possibly have regret, regretted how they've treated you, like they've neglected you and they you know, now realize it. But this does seem like you're going to take it real slow because it's like there again, that feeling of you don't always get to have your way there, punk. But you can see clearly that you could be still happy. So this is like you're you're actually manifesting this person back. That's just the way it is. Alrighty. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Ten. Ooh, Knight of Swords. One more. Page. Okay, so they're a little bit nervous. Why are they so nervous? They might feel intimidated by you. Oh, they aren't over you. This is somebody who doesn't feel like things are concluded. They also might be kind of watching you from afar, seeing what you're what you're doing. Why the feeling of the Knight of Swords? Because that would be, I feel jaded. Nothing goes my way. This person feels like there's, like you're holding all the cards here. They, they feel like everything's up to you and they're not liking it at all. So let's see what we got for blockage. All right. Some deceit going on here. It seems like somebody walked away because they felt like that. There again is that feeling of I'm jaded and fuck this and f just screw it. I'm not. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I'm not. I don't have any feelings. I'm. I wouldn't. I'm gonna deny it. And that you've come to your assumptions about this person that it doesn't pay to even try to talk to them because a five of swords can be like I. You're not showing any interest. You're walking away. I feel like I'm being played or you're pretending or have no feelings at all. This also could have been some cheating and manipulation going on. And your, your energy is going like, fuck this. I can be a real bitter bitch if I need to. How do you see this person? You owe me an apology. And then I might ponder. I might ponder. But right now you can really kiss my ass. Because I feel like I've been abandoned, neglected, left out under that and stabbed to death and th this connection here they got to really come at you right so in their mind they're thinking about the long term they're thinking about the comfort zone between the two of you and they actually do want to show you it's like they're working towards that end game type of energy and they're kind of they feel like it's it's really basically like the balls in your court and they want things to happen possibly a little bit too quick it's like okay the page also of swords can be trying to 
negotiate because I don't feel like there's a that things have taken full course, but there needs to be some major change because this can be that, you know, this person is feeling like mm, unfinished business between the two of you, possibly like they don't feel worthy. And then therefore there's a lot of frustration in all of this, this person that you have been dealing with a lot of frustration and you're kind of going, it's uh, it's time to get your shit together learn a lesson but it does seem like there's no blockage in between these this is communication it's like this would be you telling them in the future they have to you know chill out relax they have they learned any lessons are they ready to um commit basically but it's like i want somebody that i know what to expect and that values me and wants to uh follow my goddamn rules and has some faith in the connection and this uh, this whole bitterness here that we have between us, that five of pentacles can be the feeling of, I've you know, I've had enough. This has really taken blows on my self-confidence and I've got doubts and there's this feeling about being kind of miserable and on shaky ground and did you get ghosted and it's feeling distant and lonely and struggling with what to do about this person. It's like, I don't know what to do. So they would have to come at you with some major truth and tell you how they really feel and be more open because right now you're really not happy. You got the, I will, I will, my sword's up. Um, I'm judge, jury, and the whole shit. You owe me an apology. Then maybe a resolution. And this person is definitely <laughs> feeling like you're going to rip off their head and shit down their neck. All right. So we have your own card, Libra. Taurus, Lewis. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Aries, mm, Sagittarius. All right, my Libras, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Scorpios, all right, let's jump in. If you're dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, okay. Two came out, and we need one more source. One more. Ooh, okay, two more came out, so we're going to take it. All right, this person's kind of confused. They're thinking that that as far as things are going with the, with the two of you, that they're kind of confused. Is this going anywhere? It's like, I'm not sure if I want to want to reach out. This is somebody that feels that there's still a, a possibility of romance between the two of you. Their actions would be definitely trying to take the time to let you know that they would like to have balance in the connection. So that's basically like, I would like good news. I'm interested in talking this out, but they're not really sure where you stand. What is the blockage? All right, one more. It's looking like a power struggle, I have to be honest with you. Yeah. So we take the blockage and we flip it. So you get the magician reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed. This can be like one person thinks that they're in charge or that kind of takes over and is a little bit more dominant and the other one's expected to just kind of follow suit. That doesn't work. Not that this is a terrible, it's not. It's, it's basically one person cannot be in charge of everything that happens. It does look at the bottom of the deck. You're the six of wands. So there is still room to grow here. This would tell me that you want to try to win this person over or that you're willing to acknowledge them with some pride. But it's things have to go better. I want the adoration. I want to get your attention. How do I win you over? All right. Likely outcome. There needs to be, there's like a power struggle going on here. There's still feelings. This is like, I'm not tolerating anything but love. And why should I just, they feel the same way, but they just don't really know where the hell the two of you stand. And they might be feeling like your high expectations are kind of getting in the way and it's looking like you're kind of doing the same. Your energy here, confrontation about the fact that we care about each other. And this is you It's like I have feelings for you. I got this great cup, but you're coming my way. I'm not moving my ass anywhere. But it does look like a miscommunication. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. The Queen of Coins. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. One more. 
And the King of Pentacles reversed. All right, why the King reversed? This is somebody that just feels like things aren't going anywhere between the two of you. You got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Here again with the expectation crap. I feel like you expect too much. You, you know, I, I see you on security, but they're not doing it. This is somebody that feels like you expect too damn much. And they're just like, this isn't worth it. Let's get one more. And they're trying to dodge the, the conflict. They don't want to argue about shit anymore. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. It looks like you've been kind of sitting there going, I feel stuck. I feel trapped. I feel like I've been shunned. I'm not sure what to do about this. Go stab somebody. No, stab me. All right. What is the actual? Okay. There needs to be more optimism uh, moving forward. Now, they could have put you in a third party. Doesn't have to have been. But somebody possibly needs help with, with their thoughts and letting go of something that, because there's wanting to move things forward but it's like wait 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 and there needs to be more optimism how do you see this stab them with a spork no sporking well actually i do like sporking sporking's fair game all right the, you see this person is somebody that might have other intentions you're kind of going i want this to be my person but how do you nail them down if they are constantly on the go you're still looking to try to put the work into it you're still looking for the effort to be there but is it feeling like you're the one doing all the effort and you're waiting for them to do something and you're trying to be optimistic this seems like again another kind of power struggle and they feel like there's a constant battle and they're not digging it at all they're like this is a waste of time all this bullshit and i'm just dodging around the the crap and the drama but this looks to me like this person is basically kind of going i'm i don't want to be responsible you have really high expectations assert your dominance with a sport oh seriously Wookie. he's putting in a dvd player for dad all right cancer scorpio pisces source we have the three of pentacles and the star one more oh and the little page of swords why are they just sitting there with their finger up their nose i'm waiting for news now they're waiting for you this person is again you got the six of cups here it's like this person's like how do i find the connection between the two of us i still think about the past but are they doting on the past period where their memories get in the way of things they still feel that there's positive an outlook they still feel like there's a hope here between the two of you and some faith but they're still kind of it's like they're holding they're holding their breath until the other shoe drops type of thing because this person it's like they're thinking about how things could work between the two of you and wanting to I'm more for that yeah they just want things to be even so they might feel like they're not getting their share of something, whether it's nookie, I don't care. They might also be feeling like you're not, you don't give them enough praise or the, that you don't contribute enough to this connection, but they sure would like to have it be that way. All right, what do you see as the block? What do you see as the block edge? Okay, well, that's pretty straight up. You feel like this person's an attention hoe. They don't keep their damn... They don't keep their damn promises, and you're wait, you've waited long enough. This person, if you, the two of you have not been talking, they're basically kind of giving you the, they're not going to stir up the pot. They're not going to be coming at you trying to, to try to figure things out. They're kind of being a candy ass as far as you're concerned. It's like, I'm not happy with the situation with the hangman, and you're just like, I feel like I'm in like time has stood still and this person needs to grow the hell up and that they could be an arrogant little shit. So what is the actual blockage? Um... No, too many secrets and things that just aren't known and you could be dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. But is this person ever going to be more than just single? And this is basically calling it out. It's like I want that extra pentacle here that makes the ten of pentacles. And this would be basically, you've got a vision of what's going to happen or hoping to happen in the future, but it's until this person reaches out, well, they have the same things in mind, but the two of you aren't discussing it. It's like there's this feeling of not trusting and not giving enough, but there is still feeling of hope here. So I would say it's, that's just a matter of who is going to reach out first. One more. The Fool. So... All right, and the Nine of Cups. It does look like one or the other has to. 
has to for things to be happy happy again somebody has to reach out and with the nine of cups there is satisfaction just from starting over it's like a new beginning and optimism so we like that but somebody still has to and it could be you know what starting over is just not what i'm doing with you anyway taurus virgo capricorn one more okay all right Again, with the expectation shit, this is somebody that basically feels like you're not, they're, they're not on solid ground with you. They feel like you possibly, again, expect too much and they're not coping well with this crap. They're, they're feeling like you might be a little bit too needy. This is the, the 10 of wands. So it's like, I'm having a really hard time trying to give you what you want. And here I'm willing to offer this, but they're not thinking about the long term. Why the 10 of coins reverse? In other words, there's shaky ground. This is somebody that's got a little bit of a commitment issue, I would definitely say. It's like, my needs need to be met. I don't know if I'm if things are stable between the two of us or there's a complicated situation and they're just kind of going, ugh. What's the actual blockage? No fucking juggling bullshit. Their juggling games need to end and the bullshit needs to stop. It's like the buck stops here. You've got arguments and not seeing truly what this person there's confusion and different perspectives and then therefore your perspective and this person's perspective completely clash not communicating or misleading and this is somebody that just like they're having a hard time trying to what make you an offer this is bullshit all right one more for that ace of pentacles however they do still see that offering if things go slow then they're okay and I don't think you dig it because here at the bottom of the deck you're kind of going I got a grudge when it comes to you and not offering anything long term and is there a feeling of time's ticking here person what's a likely outcome okay I mean they can't just look at you as like you're a fucking toy I'm sorry but you've got feelings of you're defeated and can I get your interest and is this person constantly going to be just looking for attention like they think that they should just sit there and look pretty and then that would say that this person also might have a power struggle between you and another person oh oops abs accidentally fell into a jj or fell on top of a penis and this isn't going anywhere there's definitely a power struggle and it's like this person seems to lose focus and just have one thing in mind and that's getting their rocks off but they they do there's still promise here they just want to keep things a little bit smaller than it looks like you're comfortable with and you're basically telling them i'm not I'm not going to deal with this juggling crap your your juggling game is over and it's like it's an overwhelming kind of a mess and you're needing to take a little bit of a step back because you don't feel like they're being completely honest about how they feel like you, you don't feel like you're being appreciated. And what do, you, what do you do with it? If this person's neglecting you as a partner, then you feel rejected. So, I mean, that's kind of a, ouch. Okay, let's go through the majors. Leo, very heavily. Cancer. Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right, that's what we have for you, my Scorpios, and on we go. Sagittarius, if you are dealing with another Sag, an Aries, or a Leo, fire signs. Okay, two came out, we want one more. Elemental quickies, this person's not over you. Nope. They're still thinking about getting uh, some attention from you, but it might be that they feel like there's a lot of expectations or that the two of you kind of failed at an attempt. It's like they're kind of living in the past about it. They're sitting there spinning on repeat. They feel the sun, but they can't act like it. And their actions, they're not doing a damn thing. They're not over you, but it's almost like they feel like they could just gallivant around having a good time. Seriously, sounds like my kid. Mm -mm -mm, it's a blockage. All right. You got the Ten of Cups 
reversed so we flip it so it's upright 10 this is somebody that just wants to play i want to bang, bang on the drums all day it's laziness how do you see this person lazy all right the moon one more they got you anxious about the future you're not sure what the hell to, to make of this it's a likely outcome bullshit i mean that's basically unfair this is not right and you're emotionally trying to blackmail me by expecting too much and it's like preppy behavior blah also could be jealousy but th this person <laughs> lazy 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 and they're not doing nothing not doing nothing they also could have put themselves in a rebound connection just saying because it's like i just want to bang on the drums all they think that everything is ju i just feel like having fun fuck this taking responsibility shit they're not doing anything it's like they don't quite get the big picture especially with this eight of swords here they need to get the big picture wake up smell the coffee it's like oh I, golly do you really feel that way yeah we really feel that way all right gemini libra aquarius eight of coins ace of pentacles one more and the chariot all right why the eight for thoughts all right this person's wishing but are they really doing much let's get one more for the chariot all right, they're trying to figure out what they want to do. This is somebody that's determined to get some direction, determined to figure out what they want. This might be somebody that's kind of getting frustrated about things not going quicker. They're thinking basically right now, it's like I'm working on this and they're kind of keeping their emotions to themselves. I'm working on what? Because they're feeling... No, again with the, I just want to fucking play, banging on the drums again. And you want things to be even, Steven, or fair. It's like they need to act like an adult. What is the actual blockage? Oops, two came out, we're taking out. Okay, so this, this is somebody that does seem to kind of glide across your couch a little bit too much. It's just causing heartbreak. I come in, I come out, I cause heartbreak, and they have, it's like they almost assume that you'll take them back, but they need to start acting like an adult. The Knight of Cups, when it's reversed, is somebody that just doesn't get the full picture. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking for feelings with you. However, I'm, I'm not, you lost that loving feeling with me. They get bored. They cause jealousy issues, and it's like love isn't requited. It's things taking a negative turn and then they think, okay, well, I can just come back. And they feel, they feel like they can just come back. Well, you know, if I tell Saggy that I still have hope and faith and trying to make things work between the two of us, but their action, it's just like they're, they're, they're feeling like you're kind of pulling back and forth, having a tug of war. It's a likely outcome. It's going to be their way. It is going to be their way because they're holding back. This is somebody that, again, the feeling of just don't feel like, here's your energy. I'm sick of the crap. We need to have a little chitty chat about this because I'm feeling like I'm on the fence and I'm kind of wondering if it's even bothering putting the work into it. You got the wounded warrior here. That's the nine of wands. So it's like, what, what exactly are you willing to do? You're kind of like, I'm hurt. The boundaries are kind of, you know, you've stepped over boundaries that don't work well for me. And again, with the feeling of you just think that, well, look at that. You got the eight and the, the one ace of wands. You got the nine right here. Eight and one is nine. Again, with the feeling of things could move forward, but it's not just going to be screwing because you've got this in your head that this person's causing a blockage between the two of you and it's got you hesitant. It's like, how patient do you expect to be? Yes, I'm still interested, but not if you can't get your shit together and I always have to have my guard up. And they're holding back. They're like, no, I'm only giving you so much. What the fuck is that? But they still have hope. They still feel whatever. They're, I feel like there's a tug of war going on. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Came out in this order. This person does still see you as somebody that they they think about in a positive way. However, this also can be somebody that's thinking about the next person. 
because the Empress, that's like I want things to grow. To clarify, we have the Six of Rods reversed. That would be basically that this person thinks that you're not giving them enough attention, that, that you misled them. They can be really vain and unwilling to initiate anything towards you, but it's like the attention is off of you and they feel like they've let you down. Their feelings is basically like, the choices have already been made for me. And they could feel like, okay, if they're talking behind your back to a friend, it's basically since you've said to, to this person, I'm not dealing with the bullshit anymore. And anymore, I feel defeated. I, I just feel like we're taking care of me right now. So what is the actual blockage? All right. Well, that's not good. Again, the feeling of sneaking around, fucking around. I'm going to go this way with the blockage. Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, well, that's somebody that is shallow. Infidelity. Doesn't care right from wrong. And this is basically like El Bustido. So they're just calling it a day and going, fine, fuck it. I give up on this shit. I don't want to put any more work into it. I have failed. And you're just bitter because, yeah, it was a dead end. No, really. They're just done. They're trying to think of other ideas as far as what they're interested in. But they are in a pity party. They're just starting to think about things. Since the two of you have moved on from each other, they're optimistically looking at somebody else. And I think you already know what the high priestess is. It's like the hit, hidden hooker. The high priestess is the unknown. And you just feel like this person's constantly leaving you in limbo where they don't offer what the hell you need. And they're basically going, well, fuck it then. I don't care. You've already made up your mind. I've heard it through the grapevine. I'm trying to be, see no, no, they, no. I feel like you've put them in the friend zone and they're not happy about it. But it does look like you're kind of going, I, you wanted your freedom? You possibly were keeping secrets from me and didn't want any confrontation, so why should I bother? Okay. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Ooh, this one came first. All right, one more for that seven. Okay, why the nine? All right, we want one more for the Knight of Swords. Okay, this person's restless. They, they might be thinking that it's time for a, a little talk. I would say that they kind of have like loaded their guns mentally and they're prepared. This is somebody that's like, I'm taking a chance here. So they basically, it's almost like somebody that wants to ask you out, but kind of feels like they're on the fence. How do you see this person? It could be a work person that you, somebody that you work with. Also can be a boss, but you're looking at this person like, Maybe, maybe not. It does seem like you're willing to give it a chance. Like I could, I could check this out. And with the lovers here, the communication would be very good. But it does seem like they're trying to inflate their balls enough to get, you know, get to ask you out. And again, there's a very strong feeling of a work presence, so, so a coworker, a boss, whatever the case is. But this was like, I would like to spend time with you, see where things can go. Let's give it a, let's give it a shot. Now, this is the ex. They're not sure about moving on. This is somebody that knows that, <clears throat> excuse me, dry, knows that they have to be serious so that they are taken seriously. But they're a little bit, they're a little bit wound up. They're anxious, but they're hope, trying to be hopeful and they're worried. They might feel like you are f feeling suspicious towards them or there's petty jealousy going on, possibly some doubts and fears, and they're panic panicking a little bit about making this full time. This would still tell me that they want to have a conversation with you and it seems like it's overdue and they finally inflated their balls again with the inflating their balls or ovaries, whichever is better, okay? But if you are looking for an apology or some moderation where somebody is willing to compromise this would say you still feel like this could be the right person for you but they need to act like an adult and you be, would be willing it's like okay i can give a little bit too to try to get a balance in the connection all righty let's go over the majors we have sagittarius aries
Libra, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Heavily, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Heavily. All right, that's what we have for you, my Sagittarius, sis, 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 and on we go. Capulets, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Ooh, all right, one more. Okay, so why death? That was quick. This person needs a, a break. Between the two of you, they feel like if they were to confront, they're thinking about confronting you, but right now they feel like it's probably not a good time yet. They, they feel like you have kind of set your boundaries or there's a wedge between the two of you. There could have been high standards or some accusations, but there's this feeling of this person's kind of going, they're not going to trust me or listen to me. One more for the seven. So they're being defensive, but they are still thinking about you. It's like they're, they're clinging to what has been and what could be again. The blockage. Two of Pentacles, one more. All right, who the fuck got in between this connection? Not what the fuck, who the fuck? Because this is basically an unbalanced connection. They need to make a decision. This is like, uh, are you missing the opportunity here because they aren't flexible or they can't juggle time for work and time for home, but they've made a mess of this connection. How do you see this person? How do you see this person? All right, you get the Hermit Reverse. You basically have put this person on ignore. You feel like shit wasn't going anywhere and that they owe you an apology. It's like, or you could be going into a different direction with a different person. But the Hermit Reverse is basically like, I really don't want to be around you. I need to think about things and I'm going to be a bitch or an asshole and just kind of ignore you because you weren't bringing it to, you put too much in the way. You put obstacles in the way that did not have to be here they could have been juggling you yes or they need to find a priority a, a happy medium and you're kind of like uh, the only good news you could be bringing to me right now is an apology so or you're just starting to see somebody new but they're thinking about i want to talk to you i want to try to reconcile and i would say they have to compromise and make a change otherwise it's not going to be because they would like to bring something up with you and that's usually reconciliation energy. I still have feelings for you. I don't know what to do. But look at this. I'm having a difficult time trying to work hard at, at a family or stability. It's like, what the hell is their problem? King of Pentacles reverse. Laziness. Greedy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, very nice. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So why the Ten? This person feels like they have stretched them out too thin or that the, the connection between the two of you has been stretched out too thin. They're thinking about trying to make there be more romance. They might be like hoping for good information about you still having feelings, but they're, and they do feel like this still has an opportunity to change or get better. One more. All right, but they're, they're sitting there feeling sorry. I feel sorry for myself. I regret what I've done, but they're thinking about a new beginning. They, they feel like there's still something here. Why? Because they're having a difficult time letting go. This person still cares about you. Four of Pentacles. I don't know what to do. So I'm just kind of holding back. I feel sorry for myself. I'm in this pity party. I have major regrets and I'm grieving. What's the actual blockage? A lot of fucking anxiety. This also can be somebody that actually needs to have some counseling or get help from somebody else because they need to release themselves. What from? What do they need to release themselves from? Not a bowel movement either. Oh, shit. Okay, do they have to make up their mind? Ah, uh, ha, ha. Uh, how do you see this person? All right. One more. You feel like they're not quite over the past. It's like, person, you have, if you're willing to move forward, then maybe we have something here. But if this is somebody that is, 
I'm worried about the past and I'm worried about this and worried about that. That can be that this person needs to become less just all they think about is how to get their freedom, how to have a solution, and yet they're so wound up about it that they're starting to doubt themselves. But if what's in the fucking way is another connection, then I would say this person, oh, they're having a difficult time trying to get information to you, then they need to make a fucking choice, and it does look like they're holding back. This is somebody that if they walk away, then they would be able to have an opportunity with you. But until then... You see this person, you would like to have a beginning with them or start again. This also can mean that you feel like the two of you aren't done and that you want to start over. So there's either a connection that's kind of pish posh, not quite all there, but they want to hear good news about their feelings. So something major has got to change. And it does seem like with the amount of pain that you've been through with this person, it's going to cut, 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 cut. You've made up your mind. You're like, you know, I see you for, for what you truly are. There isn't any confusion anymore. All the icing's off the cake. Uh, you know, this, if you don't come to me with a major, major, major change, this is just going to be like, uh, you can't, you, you can't, uh, missed opportunity. And this person is in denial, possibly. And you're kind of going, you need to make up your damn mind. I've made up mine, but you got to come to me, baby. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the moon. The King of Cups reverse. This person's broken hearted. They want to talk things out, but they're kind of a candy ass. So why do we have the moon for thoughts? Why the moon? They're holding back on their thoughts. This is somebody that's anxious about what to do. So they're kind of going, if I just hold back and wait it out, but this person feels very... They also could have been... One more. They're very confused about what lies ahead. They still have feelings, but they're in this poor me bullshit. And it also can be that they're still thinking about you and think that you have been emotionally trampling on them. Actual blockage. Well, that ain't good. I think, oh, two came out. All right. Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. I think about coming back and then I think you don't want to even look at me or that you're not focused on anything. And this person, they just feel like things are like a setback. It also could have been that this person was playing footsie with somebody else and they got their ass busted. Oh, it's just a friend does not fly in this at all. Because the Page of Pentacles reverse can be somebody that they don't offer shit. They're fake. Zero interest in your crap. And they, yet they think they can come back and hang out on your couch? No. It's also going to be somebody that gets, gets scared away very easily because they think there's too much expected from them. So how do you see them? All right, uncertain of what path they should be taking and basically kind of giving you, I don't know what I want. I don't know. It's like, I, you need to offer. You want to come back? You're going to miss the opportunity with me if you don't do something. They have to put more work into it. There again, the feeling of, I'm not coming to you. Well, they're fucking holding back. So how in the hell are you supposed to know how to feel? And here you got the, I will be, I'll listen to you, but you are coming to, the queen of swords does not get off her damn ass to come and see somebody because I don't need you. Don't need you. Would like to enjoy spending time with you or being with you or possibly reconcile. But this could also be that the queen's looking down at the bullshit partying as well. What's underneath of that? Because I'm interested. Okay. The, basically, this is just like you, you, you feeling, because this is your energy here. Things could work, but they have to take you seriously. It's like, don't make me get all mega bitchy on you. This person is like, how dumb are you? You need to be more interested and in talking and t talking not in a way that mm, is risky because that ain't gonna fly at all and there is that chance that you feel like this person's basically lost interest but they don't know what the hell they want and i would say that this person does want to talk to you possibly wants a new beginning but they're intimidated by you with that damn queen oh yeah like pussy candy ass all right Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, source. Ooh, stubborn. Wow, really stubborn. Okay. One. Two, one more, please. Well, 
Okay, so this person's all excited thinking about you. They feel like you are somebody that is sensible and nurturing and possibly long-term, so they're thinking very seriously here. Okay, this is somebody that wants to make a move and they want it to last. They want to be taken seriously. They're all like fun and frolic, but they see that they kind of have to live up to expectations. Let's see what you think of them. I see you single, and you feel like they're a little bit a little bit uh, off, off keeping. So this is somebody that's like, okay, I've got, I've got the fact that the, there's a, it's like, ooh, look at the la la la. You see, this person is responsible, possibly very successful, and right underneath of it, we got some restlessness. So it's like a little bit jittery about this person. You're a little bit worried about this. Why are you a little bit worried? You might feel like they don't want. to. You didn't expect it. I mean, I don't feel like that's anything terrible. What? How does this move forward? New love. And I would say that it's going to go slow. This person's like a new path and going for it. This is like, I can see making a decision to try to settle down. So this is somebody that has long-term goals. I mean, this is really nice. It does seem like you're not expecting it, but this is the beginning it's like positive lovey-dovey energies and a new opportunity. And you're just like, okay, you're single, that's great. But I'm a little bit afraid not to not to give this person the wrong impression. But you might be thinking that, you know, if you're looking at them and they're looking at you in this way, there's a lot of passion. It's like, let's see if this goes well. But you would be fun and outgoing. That's how they see you. And they, they've got feelings that you could be the right one. I mean, that's really excellent. Now, if it's the ex... You could be feeling like they want their freedom and, and you're kind of worried. It's like, okay, here's the likely outcome is the Ace of Cups. So that would be a new beginning. But does this person want their damn freedom? And it's like, I've only gotten to the point where it's like, it's not completely a battle that's been won because you're still a little bit leery about it. Okay, let's go through the majors. All righty. Scorpio, Taurus. And this one, all right. Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. But all signs are in there. All right, my Capulets, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Oopsie doopsie, I did it again. Dang it. Pisces, how you bees? All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Well, we like this so far. One more, one more, one more. Oh, we really like this. Okay, so you've got this person they're thinking about what to do about a situation. They, they, they think that the two of you could be better together, that they want to try to have something to celebrate, but they feel like there hasn't been happiness before. So they're thinking about trying to make things even. This is wanting balance. Why the six? Oh, they're regretting that. Okay, this is somebody that regrets uh, possibly taking advantage of you, taking you for granted, possibly um, that you got sick and tired of this person holding back or that you didn't feel any appreciation. And now they're thinking about how do I make things even? Their, their overall, what they're going to do, oh, they've made up their mind. This is somebody that still feels like this connection can grow. One more. Mm hmm here they come with a message they want to talk about this it's like I'm rushing in to tell you that yeah you better have an apology too but I'm coming in to tell you yeah you better be more romantic as well so what's the actual blockage all right all right uh, this just seems like you took a chance and this person kind of screwed you over by getting a little bit too reckless or again that they didn't want any responsibilities and, and took you for granted. This doesn't have to be anything terrible. How do you feel about this person? 
All right. You would be willing to hear them out, but it's like I want to. I want to actually have a foundation. So I mean, there's been an ending here, yes, but they have really thought about this, and it does look like they are going. You know, I really just left them hanging there. I gave up too soon, and boy, do I regret it. I feel like things could be balanced between the two of us again. This can be somebody that's got a gift of something in mind to try to coax you because they've thought about this. They've made up their mind and here they freaking come to basically tell you that they still have feelings for you. They still have the hots for you. They still feel like you're the one. You're the one. Oh, Shania Twain. What can I even say? All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Woe is me. I'm so sad. All right. This person feels like they're missing out. Why that? Okay. Did you walk away from them? Because this also can be somebody that thinks that you have walked away from them because there wasn't any stability. And now they're going, oh, hum, what do I do? Boy, am I feeling sorry for myself. One more for feelings. They still have the feeling that you would be their desire, that there would be, they're trying to manifest you back and say, I feel like this can still work. Their action is Putting the work into it. I mean, that's nice. One more for the ace here. I still have feelings for you. I don't want to hold back. And this would be telling you that they're going to meet your expectations. How do you feel? All right. Yeah, and I got lots of expectations, little boy, little girl. This is basically like the depression and, and the problems that the two of you had. You're willing to let it go but there's a cost to it, okay? It's like, I can release the fears and we can face reality, but I'm, I'm, I've got my opinions and I, this is something that I'm holding on to instead of dropping because there, there's a, I want balance. I want good communication. This would basically be, feel like this person just dropped you and that they need to communicate what they actually want. So what is the likely outcome here? A talk. So expect some, uh, yeah, I mean, and they want good news. They're hopeful. They're hopeful. They're excited. They got a bounce in their step thinking about you. And right now they're kind of, oh, what the hell? We got a ghost in the house. They're, they're just feeling like, what do I do? I, I can't see Cupcake and Pisces, sorry, either one. Are they, are they just trying? We can do better. I know we can. It's like they lost their focus on where the two of you were going, and now they're going, okay, okay, okay. All right. I, I still feel like something good could come, can tr come true and that we can put some work into this and kind of go at a slow pace and make sure there's a good foundation. That would say that this can work. So they're coming in for a chitty chat. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Oh, my God. Am I aging myself today? Okay. What do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? The chariot reversed and death. Well, that's not a good start. This person uh, is thinking about, uh, whoops, didn't mean to. Oh, but are they worried? Ha ha ha. Why death? For feelings. This is the one that got away. That's what they're thinking. Why the chariot? They feel like you got away from them. And oops, they caught feelings. I feel like this person's, they're being a pussy. That's for damn sure. But they still think about you as somebody that they have feelings for and some very deep feelings. What are they afraid of? An argument. This is like, oh shit. If I want to get Cupcake's attention, I got to really come clean. It's almost like they, they're afraid of you not showing any interest. Blockage. All right. It looks like they made you feel like you had to stick up for your, you know, yourself. And basically it's like, if I have to choose, and when I feel like there's so much God dang drama here, this is disagreeing about where things were going. This way would be a major stalemate. So this could be that you finally made a choice for them because there was too much drama. This looks like petty argument shit. How do you see them? All right. High priestess. You're, you're a little bit on the defensive side about this person coming back at you. I would definitely say that with the high priestess, you're kind of being like, you know, I'm going to play hard to get. I'm going to have to. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to. And the seven of wands here would be like, 
I'm suspicious and I feel like you put a wedge between the two of us and I still feel a little bit like you, uh, you feel a little bit intolerant. Like this person got on your nerves and you're kind of protecting yourself, but there's a sense of not really trusting it. And I mean, this does look like this person, they're afraid of that. They're afraid of being just cast aside. This is somebody that needs to actually say how they feel instead of holding back. You're the one that got away and they are regretting. So they need to get off their little ass. It does look like you can see clearly that there's still love here. There's still love here. You got the one eleven eleven. I still feel like this can go well, but you need to be stable. All right, what do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Restless? We're trying to get over the feeling of being blue. This person's restless. They think that there was a, a lack of balance between the two of you, and right now they're sitting there feeling sorry for themselves. Oh, poor me. It's just a loss. Oh, but they're thinking about making a move. I'm more focused now. Shit's just not going well for me. They feel hurt. But did they do it? Then this feels like this person's thinking that you're going to be very logical, but very cutthroat. Like if they tried to come towards you, they feel like you'd be like right there. All right, so what's the actual blockage? All right. Three came out. So we, we have somebody that isn't completely over you at all. But did their player ways get in the, in the in the way? Were they afraid and then they pushed you away because they kind of got to be a wussy wussy? Because this is like there's no, there's no, they don't have any leverage. And they might feel like they're not good enough. But there's a sense of repeating and still having insecurities both ways it's not just one side and that means frustration and then a, a failed attempt at trying to make things work again but not really what they want not really what you want bottom of the deck you have the seven of coins so i do feel like you would give this person a chance at least to be heard but boy whoo this person it's like now you're gonna be fucking patient because you've made me wonder what you expect and with the two of rods it's kind of like i'm not sure what what i'm gonna do i'm not sure if i i feel like don't push me that you know we can make plans and talk but i'm thinking about it it's like i've decided that you got to show me the work it's like if this is going to pay off you have to make big changes you have to take a new path and this person better take you fucking seriously also they could have felt like you put yourself in a new connection because this person just feels like there's unloyalty and how could you you know it's like this person's got a big stick up their tush let's get a cut like the outcome well if you want this person in your life it does look like things can go better and that would be that they're going to that it would be a successful connection again that there is still love here that there is happiness that there can be fulfillment all right, let's see what, you know, I think I screwed Aquarius up and actually did their sign without the uh, camera on. I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to probably redo that one. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, and then I'm going to give you guys an update on Dad with a timestamp, all that good stuff. All right. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer again, so heavily. Libra Taurus. Aries. And Pisces and Cancer again. All right, let me get a timestamp. Okay, quick update before I redo Aquarius, because with my timestamps, it really looks like I had paused and then forgot to turn it back on. So we are just redoing. So I'm going to put the timestamp in after I give you the uh, what's up with dad. So uh, mid video, I was able to go and pick him up. He had pulled out his IV. He was giving everybody. He was very, very confused and needed to get home. But we did add a medication for agitation. Um, and increase his blood pressure medication because, like I said, he almost stroked out or had a heart attack in the uh, emergency room. It was so 
it was the right timing. You know how you just get those feelings and you act on your gut? And I did, and I finally talked him into stopping so god dang stubborn but he is he really is stubborn so he is doing better he is really slow to adjust the medication um makes him tired and i'm not thrilled about that so i'm gonna probably you know try it's a half we're gonna try and quarter quarter tablet um it's called seroquel it's an antipsychotic anti-seizure and anti not jobbing and wound up, but oh my God, he's just, you know, he goes from blah, 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 like me, like me, I earn it honestly, to just dead silence. And I'm like, ooh, moody mood swings. All right, so I'm going to timestamp here. Things are, are looking a little more positive, but um, the heart printout and the echocardiogram, there there is still something with the leads, but I did not get to talk to his heart doctor, so I'll have to call them to get an update on Monday. Okay, so we are going to jump into Aquarius. All right, you guys are getting a redo because I swear I have the camera on, but I'm not 100% sure, but I want to get it on this video and not have to do a separate video. So we're doing it again. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. All right, so this person is all up in their head ruminating about what they've done or what's going on. This is somebody that wants to reach out. They want to talk. They want truth. They're very focused and very clear about you know, what, talking honestly. They still have feelings for you, so they might be worried about what. Would you take them back? Will you still nurture this connection? They also could be worried about a pregnancy. Just saying, why do they feel the Ten of Pentacles? That's basically saying the communication in this. It's like there's really, they're worried about possibly a pregnancy. I have to say it's there, but this is somebody that wants to clear the slate, come clean. They want to try to make things work between the two. So give me a blockage. What's the blockage? All right. There was somebody that just wasn't sure, and it, it does seem like this other one wanted to come out too. Were they afraid of putting the work into it? Were they afraid of where things were going to go? Because we have the high priestess. Seriously. I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy here or not. I want to be content. But this is not being sure. It's like there's a secret. What, you got a secret up your ass on this person? You're not telling them something? Because they are trying to get you to open up and, and try to figure you out. And they, they see that they can get somewhere with you, but they still feel like you're kind of holding back. So, your energy says you still have feelings for this person, but you might feel underappreciated, like they didn't appreciate you enough. The six of, of, of wands, when it's reversed, is like they could have made you emotionally misled or you felt like they were emotionally leading you on or vain and unwilling to really commit so that could have been this person disappointed you because they weren't giving you enough attention which could have been for numerous reasons but it's almost like they feel like you kind of closed yourself off and and they're trying to be like i i want to be happy i i just feel like you're kind of holding back and that could be how you're feeling like they're holding back but this person still has feelings for you and if they got somebody else knocked up, well, that's on their ass. Because there, you're kind of going, uh, you walked away from me there, buddy. And with the Eight of Cups, it's almost like, I, I don't know really what to do with you. I, I feel like you walked away or we, uh, like you felt rejected and you got pessimistic. Or the two of you kind of just grew apart and there was definitely a lack and... This is still wanting to put work into it. So let's see what we got for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Swords. Okay, I wanted to clarify that one right away. And feelings, feelings, feelings. Okay, well that's positive. They're trying to be optimistic. This could be somebody that thinks that things would go better or feel that things would go better if you dropped the, uh, I don't trust you. I'm thinking about this, but I, I'm not compromising. It could be that one partner put in more work than the other, but there's a feeling of struggling and then kind of escaping and reluctancy. And there could have been a lack of 
trust and that this person's going i know and you're kind of going fuck you i'm starting over see what's under that and you aren't feeling like you want to budge this does look like that's seven of wands so that's basically kind of like i want peace this is a little bit different in this one i want peace and quiet and right now emotionally distancing myself so what's the damage here what's the blockage all right i need to boss up they need to act like a fucking adult because this can be that they don't act serious around you or give you the feeling that they don't really want this to go anywhere or they don't really know what they want. And the emperor reversed is somebody that can be who's in charge here. You know, it's like, well, yeah, I felt like you had your thumb over me. So I just moved on and I don't really know what the hell to do about us. But you need to stop being so jealous or defensive or whatever it is. And so what you have. Uh, OK, one more under that all right they owe you an apology and there still could be some faith with this person but it's like i need promises made and kept but you have a hard time not pulling that person their energy back in this is somebody that wants to try to balance the connection between the two of you this is not somebody that wants freedom the six of pentacles give me a chance to show you that i mean business and especially if this person kind of just never gave you the inclination that this was going to be long term and now they're thinking can we try to get beyond this i don't know i don't know if we can do this but i would say they're definitely reaching out to try to make things balanced between the two of you it's like giving another opportunity giving a chance giving it their all trying to make things even between the two of you um found what I'm looking for. Now I realize it. So it's like sharing and giving more. And I think they want to be taken seriously now and put the shit behind the two of you already. Answer Scorpio Pisces. All right. This person's thinking that the two of you are just done and boy, do they feel like shit. Why the four of cups? Oh boy. I don't feel like they're... <laughs> They might feel like there's been some major arguments between the two of you and that you're kind of giving them mixed signals and they don't really know what to do. Why the Three of Cups reversed for feelings? They're feeling like you don't want to have a damn thing to do with them. They've, in their mind, you have made up your mind that you're kind of going, enough. Uh, you know, it, it's an unsolved fucking mystery as far as is they're concerned and they're kind of like, I, I don't know, Am I, are they going to give me... I, I, I want to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart discussion with you, but I feel like we could still solve our issues. One more for thoughts. For the nosy. One more. Yeah, they're thinking about trying to talk to you about the obstacles that are here. How do you see them? All right. You see this person as somebody that possibly is selfish um possibly always gets their way but it can be that you feel let's get one more for the nine of cups because that can be contentment and wish fulfilled but they owe you an apology and um you're being serious as shit it's like i ain't tolerating nothing i will turn i will snub you i will snub you let's see what we get for an outcome and you really can you feel like this person's just happy fucking doing whatever the hell they want and that they're getting all this attention and they owe me an apology and they mm, mm, the likely outcome unknown hell i'm being not shown either but it does seem like they're going to do something to shake shit up a little bit so this can be that you're not expecting because this is your energy you you might you might have basically been like fuck this shit i'm out i'm going in a different direction i am starting over and i'm in business but they might come at you with uh let's try one more for the moon i'll try again and the damn tower comes out anyway again i feel like it's going to be something that you don't expect and it seems like you're kind of in uh, remission from this whole thing and trying to process how you feel about this. It's like, I need, I need some spit. You're going to have to think about it. It's something because I, they're coming in. They're thinking about it. They still have feelings for you. They know that they let, let you down. Um, and you feel your energy here. You feel like things are not said that should have been spoken. And this made you feel like, you weren't getting the attention that you deserve and that you were underappreciated and that they made you feel like you were constantly nagging them to get their attention. It's like, I ain't doing that shit. You also might feel like this person was unfaithful and an asshole. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oh, there's the devil. Okay. This person 
What are they working on? The feelings. Feelings. Sure the fuck ain't much. I feel like this person's saying, fuck this shit. I'm done. This is somebody that still thinks about you. I will say that. But they're like, Aquarius is pissed. And this person might feel like there was toxicness between the two of you. And that you were emotionally needy and all smothery. And they're kind of going, I'm not working on anything long term. I'm working on me. So I want my freedom. Hair font reversed. I want my damn freedom. Uh, you're going to be judgy. And I, I just feel like I, I need to be by myself. I felt confined in this connection, even though I tried to work on it. They're kind of going, I got my regrets, but I feel like I have to just move on. You're irritated as hell. So what's the damage here? What's the damage? All right, one more. I think there was too high of expectations, lies and bullshit and broken promises. Because when we say, what's the damage, we take these and flip it. Okay, so I feel like I was let on. Yes, I'm goddamn needy. Tough shit. You broke promises and you're a little asshole. And I've done my background. You make, oh, I've heard the gossip about your ass and you're resenting them. So how does this move forward? What do they do? What do they do? They just sit there and be a, be an asshole, and they're moving on. I I feel like you're disappointed, you're brokenhearted by this person, but what can you really do at this point? You know, they just feel like you're smothery bullshit. No, you're not a smothery bullshit. They're a fucking heartbreaker. They could have been screwing around, doesn't have to have been, but there's a feeling that one cared more about the other one, and and that there could have been some jealousy issues here, but it's like, my emotions and your emotions are not the same and I'm closed off now because you disappointed my ass. So I don't know that you're going to, no, I don't think you're going to give the, I don't see them coming back around and trying to make things better. So you feel like I, I just can't, I, I just can't move. I can't breathe. I don't know what the hell to do. If you smothered this person, and now keep in mind, rules can be reversed. They could have been the one smothering, but this is basically telling me that they just go off. Oh, fuck this shit. I don't care. I don't care. They got a major cold front on. They're hard to please, and they just think that they're going to start over. Literally. I'm walking away, and I'm starting over, and I'm putting myself first. So they, they could have called you out as somebody that's selfish and shitty or whatever. Take it how it resonates. All right, let's go through the majors. I'm sorry that I had to put you at, at last in line. I swear to God, I did, I did like half of... You're reading. I hate that. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. There's a reason for everything, so we redid it. Aquarius. Not a bad damn looking devil, is it? Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Gemini, Libra, and Taurus. All right. Thanks for watching. Many blessings and hope to see you next time. Self-love there. Self-love.